and with a unique type of series on the channel where I'm going to be playing your decks live on ladder and rating them. Each time I play a deck from the comments or from the live stream, I will be playing it and testing it out for its true potential and telling you guys what I think. So this might be a little bit vicious. <laughs> this might also be a little bit real, but I can guarantee you guys your decks will get better and it will be a lot of fun. So let's get into it and uh, yeah, let's have a fun time. So I'm just going to start off with my deck and then the first person that types the deck in the chat, that's going to be the next deck that I play. So uh, I'm going to be taking a look as soon as, uh, as soon as we see something. We're going to run a Graveyard Freeze deck with Evolved Bats as the as, uh, first deck that we play. But yeah, let me know what your guys' decks are. Go. All right, P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Spam replaced Battle Ram with Hog Rider. Oh, okay. Well, we just got a black screen. Okay, it's back. That's cool. Okay, it's gone. It's back. It's always interesting to see how uh, finicky the cord is that I have, but it's all good. Recycle Archer's in the back first play. I'm also going to make sure it black screens one more time just in case uh, the audio is messed up. Sometimes the audio is messed up, sometimes it's not. We're going to go for bats in the back left, and then we're going to go in for just like trying to cycle our bats as much as we can since it is like such a strong card with the evolution. I'm going to go Knight in the opposite lane, so then the Arch Queen is probably just going to die to either a Tesla plus uh, uh, Skeleton Army or anything else that we do. Oh yeah, that's awesome. That's really, really cool. I think the knight's going to go back towards the, the, the Royal Hogs as well, and then we're going to get the Skeleton Army down, and he loses the Archer Queen. Wait, he didn't even go in for anything with the Archer Queen. He didn't click the ability. Okay, this guy's in a bad spot. So typically, Graveyard, you don't want to be going in for Graveyards in a single elixir, but with this deck, if your opponent is running a Royal Hogs deck and they've got Earthquake and that type of stuff, it's not that bad to do. He's going to log. He misses one of the Skeletons. Do you saw the little Larry on the corner? Oh my gosh. My dude's a mourner. He is taking so much damage. So we're in a really good spot. I'm, I'm hyped for this. But yeah, I guess I'm going to be playing the Pekka Bridge Pam deck next, which I, <laughs> you know, playing Pekka Bridge Pam with Hog Rider is interesting. So we'll see how that works out. Um, I'll also be rating this deck that I'm currently playing right now, but uh, I'm sure you guys know I'll probably be rating it pretty high. Uh, use RG. I mean, you got to tell me more cards than that. If you just say one card, I'm not going to be able to do it, dude. Imagine just using RG and then putting it in a graveyard freeze deck because you told me to use RG. Imagine. That's what I'll do. All right, we're just going to go Tesla, drop it up high, so then if you drop it there, they can't Earthquake on the tower. They can't Earthquake on the tower and hit the Tesla. It's a decent play. Probably just going to wait for it to expire, which is totally fine too. He's going to set up a cannon. We can go Bats, Graveyard, and then Freeze. And the reason why we're doing that is because the Bats will lock it on the tower if he doesn't go in for a Royal Delivery or Archer Queen. Okay, yeah, he's in a pretty bad spot right now. Oh, well, I mean, pretty good. <laughs> Not going to lie. I do be vibing with that. Alright, let's just do this. Let's arrows. And then we can cycle Skeleton Army or we can cycle uh, Knight. Reason why this deck is so strong, I'm sure you guys saw. If they're dropping Log on defense against the Graveyard Skeletons after I Graveyard Freeze, then they don't have the Log for the Skeleton Army. And then they don't end up having their spells for the Bats. Like, there's a lot of different mischievous things that this deck has that most people aren't necessarily prepared for. So look at that skeleton timing, guys. Wasn't that sick? Kind of worked. All right, so we'll see how this works. If I can take the tower or nah. Not looking like it, but still pretty good. Not going to fib. All right, we're just going to wait. Yep, there it is. All right, one little piggy. Not that bad. Uh, we can go Graveyard Freeze. And then probably lose the game, I think. <laughs> I don't know who wins or loses. We'll see. <laughs> so close. <laughs> I got a little bit lucky. I think if he focused on... Um, yeah, I don't know. I think if he Earthquaked on defense instead of doing the uh, delivery, he might have won. Delivery just takes forever, man. So It's like a slight difference there. A slight difference. Anyway. Completely calculated, as you guys can see, we are uh, <laughs> we're at 4,000 in the world. We'll see if we can push up using your decks or if we're going to tragically tilt all the way down. Should be a fun time, though. All right, so I'm scrolling up all the way to the start. Grayson says, Pekka Bridge Bam, replace Battle Ram with Hog. And we know that deck. I mean, it is kind of cheating because you just said, like, a deck and replace a card. But I'm going to run it anyway because that's, that's how we do here. You know, we say something, we do it. So... Pekka Bridge Bam, something like this. 
Usually you can use minions or you can use magic archer. I'm going to use magic archer. We don't get an evolution, which is really unfortunate. Grayson out here making my life hard. You know what you guys are going to do? Y'all are going to be like, yo, run it, run this deck without evolutions and let's see you struggle. <laughs> is it, is it going to turn into, I don't want you to review my deck. I want to torture you, Jake. That might be the case. Oh man, I just woke up today, you guys can see. I uh, didn't shave, I uh, just threw on a, a really fun shirt and just just ran it, you know? That's how we're doing it. This, this is raw content today. Raw. All right, so the last deck, I'd rated an 8.5 out of 10. It is probably the best Evolved Bats deck in the game, but Evolved Bats aren't that good. So um, after Evolved Bats eventually get a buff because they're the worst evolution, then I think the game is gonna get flipped a little bit and then the deck's gonna be really, really strong. So. I have to wait and see how that turns out and what happens, but yeah, it should be a fun time. So, what am I missing? Oh, I have Battle Ram and I have Hog Rider. That would have been pretty bad, not gonna lie. Not gonna fib, that would have been pretty funny. But uh, yeah, here's the deck. You said replace Battle Ram with the, uh, the Hog Rider. Let's see how it does. Let's go, let's run it. Yo, yo, yo. Um, how you guys, you guys out here? The camera bugging a little bit? Probably not. I don't think my camera's bugging. It would be my uh, gameplay. My camera does not bug. My camera is always steadfast, man. It, 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 it's out here. It, it stays the same. Unlike my stuttering. My stuttering definitely deviates. All right, so we're going to go for Hog Rider and Magic Archer. Hey, this guy's going to get confused on what he's playing against right now. He's looking at this and he's like, why does this, why does this guy have Magic Archer here? Yeah, he's going to Tornado. It's fine. This poison was bad. It should have been cycled like a little bit up because we're going to kill the Princess, but it could have also hit the Bowler and other stuff a little bit longer. Alright, well, this is a diagonal line, so it should just dash in the bowler, and the bowler should miss. It doesn't miss. Feels bad, man. Alright, so Tombstone, Bowler, Knight, I mean... Incest? What, like, what are we matching into? <laughs> what is this? What are these wild childs? Yo, yo, yo. You guys ready for the strats? Are you ready the, for the strats? I don't know if y'all are ready for the strats. I'm gonna peck at the river. Tombstone out of cycle, so we peck at the river. I think that's not a bad decision. And let's see how it works. Oh, oh, the plays. Don't doubt me for a second, guys. Don't even doubt it for a second. That was superb. Magic Archer. Even after the nerf, Magic Archer still hits hard. It's still, still an absolute animal. Still a full unit. Oh. That sucks. If this dashes on the Phoenix Egg, I'm going to cry myself to sleep. Okay, well, that is a strategy, my good sir. I've never seen someone like go Evolve Knight and Electro Giant and opposite sides. Like, this is not something I've ever seen before. All I know is I'm going to take a ton of damage, which is not ideal. He's going to have NATO and he's also going to end up having a uh, Tombstone, so is what it is. Magic Earth is still Majestic? Yeah, dude. I vibe with it. So the issue with the Hog Rider compared to the Battle Ram is the Battle Ram doesn't activate King Tower. Hog Rider does, so... It's nice to have the Battle Ram paired with these cards since you can get a little bit more value from them. It's it's not super ideal to run a Hog Rider here because you think about it from the perspective of I'm trying to make sure that I get robust bridge ban that doesn't get finessed by a Tornado. Uh, it's just it's not going to work out for you. Right? Okay. I mean, he's going to NATO this directly to the King Tower. That's the problem. The Hog Rider just goes to the King Tower. See how I know like the strat like what's gonna happen, but I can't do anything else. It's uh, kind of a problem. Wait, wait, why would he lightning that? Okay, wait, there's still a chance. It's really not likely, but maybe we hit a poison on a tombstone. We do not hit the poison. Da -da 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 -da. All right, how are we gonna do this? Maybe we can run it like this, and then use an Electro Wizard and a Royal Ghost, and then hopefully he NATO's an Electro Wizard. Can we reset the Bowler on the Bandit? And then, like, Magic Archer? Oh! Wait, we got the moves right now. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 guys, we got the moves. Don't doubt it for a second. He used his NATO. He's gonna have to Tombstone. Oh, wait, he's got Tombstone, Bowler, and Tornado. He's got three answers to my Hog Rider. <laughs> Uh, no, don't do this to me. Why you gotta have this type of deck against me? 
No, tragic. Yeah, so if we had an evolution or maybe he had one less counter, we would have probably beaten him. But uh, not a good matchup, as all must say. <laughs> so for your deck, I'm going to be Savage. I'm going to rate it a 5 out of 10. I'd say like regular Pekka Bridge Spam maybe is a solid like 6. It doesn't have evolution, so you already have to like knock off a couple points. Then on top of that, Pekka is one of the worst cards in the game. It has very low health, so the Pekka can't necessarily get to tower. And sure, it can be used defensively, but a lot of times like Electro Giant, Golems, the support cards behind the Golem will just break through the Pekka anyway. That's the reason why, if you guys look at my YouTube channel, where's the last Pekka video that I created? You see it? I, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, Pekka sucks. Um, five out of 10. All right, let's see the next deck. Let's see the next deck. Uh, also, yeah, I'll, we'll give a shout out to the person that gets the highest rated deck of the day. That'll be really fun. I'll probably be doing this for an hour. And uh, yeah, I'll be proud to see. I'm also going to do this rather randomly so then I don't end up um, like picking decks that are broken by on purpose or whatever. Okay, so Evo Knight, Bowler, Freeze, Tornado, Baby Dragon, Inferno Dragon, Ice Wizard, Graveyard. All right, let's, let's run it. Let's run it. Let's run it. That already seems really broken. Um, so I think that that is a good deck. And that is Last Pyrex. Last Pyrex came in with the uh, suggestion. I'm glad that you decided to give me an Evo because, you know, like the last game, bro, I didn't, I didn't get those Evos. You, you guys decided to make life hard for me, you know? I do appreciate the challenge, though. I do appreciate the challenge. It's nice, like, playing those hard matchups and then looking at it and being like, hey, I almost won. Because you could get salty and you could be like, oh, man, I can't believe I lost that. I got lucky. Oh, my God. Or you could be like, you know, I almost won something that was almost impossible. That's a vibe. I'm also waiting for someone to troll me and put in eight spells in a deck, and then I just click on it. I'm like, oh, nice. Good strategy, dude. There's going to be one of you guys today. There's going to be one dude that does that. I already know. It, it, the, there was one last time. There was one last time. Decided to put, like, six buildings in a deck. I, mean, I don't know. I, I think I remember it that way. Anyway, this is a good deck. Let's run it. The one thing that uh, you could replace, and the one thing that you could replace in this deck right now, right out of the jump, is you could run Electro Wizard instead of running uh, the Ice Wizard. The Electro Wizard gives you a nice reset, so if you're playing against people that are running, like, Inferno Dragon or maybe a Mighty Miner, and your bowlers just keep dying and your knights keep dying and you can't kill the Inferno Dragon, Electro Wizard does really well, so it's interchangeable. You can run Ice Wizard or Electro Wizard, but I think I recognize this deck. I just wanted to give a little bit of a shout-out there to anyone that did not know. Also, uh, this is not looking good. This is looking very bad. Gonna run this and then Ice Wizard here and then pray that we can stop this from killing me. Alright, that's fine. Let's sack the tower, I guess. It's always interesting to see people play like that because I mean he's gonna lose his tower here too, right? Maybe I'm wrong. Nah, he loses his tower for sure. Does the Inferno Dragon actually kill that? I don't think so. Man, do, does he not lose his tower? Oh, that's such a joke. Huh. I guess... I guess well played. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. Um, that's one of those situations where... I think, like, I could have used something in the middle. And then tornadoed the uh, E-Barbs to the King Tower. And that would have been the better play. Like, not dropping as much elixir as I did. If that makes sense. The Inferno Dragon again, that's a huge problem. Because I would have loved Electro Wizard instead of going for a... Uh, yeah, if I had Electro Wizard for the Inferno Dragon, that would have been pretty nice. Oh, he's going to... How would you use that? I mean, does that actually kill my entire bowler? That's so crazy. Yeah, I don't have anything for that card. I, I just do not. So that's definitely a problem. Alright. Yeah, like, I can't kill this. I can't kill this uh, Inferno Dragon. <laughs> I love how I said that it was going to be a problem and immediately becomes the biggest problem imaginable. And the guy just abuses it every single second. He's like, yo, I know you can't deal with this. Get at me, bro. I'm like, bro, I don't want to get at you. I don't I don't want to take an L here. All right, so we're in Inferno Dragon other side. I could... Yeah, let's just do it. Let's run it with a freeze because we kill the Electro Dragon and then we can start to stockpile stuff afterward. Notice how I knew that my supporting cards in the right-hand side would take the tower. I'm like, screw it. Why take the right-hand tower and do overkill instead of just, you know... Nagging the left-hand tower and the right-hand tower at the same time. Seems like a vibe to me. Okay, that NATO was awful, but I don't think it matters. 
I did not try to hit that Inferno Dragon. I was just a Declaration of Dominance, guys. A, a straight up Declaration of Dominance. We didn't need that Elixir. Alright, so for me, I'd rate it an 8 out of... 8.5 out of 10? Yeah, 8.5 out of 10. Definitely one of the better decks in the game. Evolved Knight is broken. Um, you struggle super hard into Inferno Dragon decks, and I would replace uh, Ice Lizard with Electro Wizard for that reason. It's funny that we matched into it. It's like, yo, know, Clash Route, let's like not play against Inferno Dragon. Puts us in, into an Inferno Dragon match. <laughs> All right, let's go, let's go. So, Love Hound Balloon, Evo Knight, Arrows. Oh, I've never seen anything like that before. And it's got Electro Wizard? Dangerous Carrot. Bro, why are, car why are carrots dangerous right now? All right, th these are questions that I don't know. I don't have answers to it. How could a carrot be dangerous? Like, you, like you're, you're chopping up the carrot. It's just like, I don't know. It's like, splashes in your face? I'm not sure, bro. I don't even know how that happens. Uh, I was thinking, um, instead of orange juice, carrot juice. Like, uh, if you end up drinking too much carrot juice, because carrot juice, like, apparently improves your eyesight, your skin can turn, like, more orange. <laughs> is, that, is that the danger? I'm not sure, bro. Alright, so Mega Minion got a buff and then everyone forgot about it. That's pretty funny. Alright, so we're running that. Baby Dragon, Electro Wizard, Inferno Dragon. Wait, sorry, I mixed up two decks. I'm actually a fool. This is really fun though. I love I love this series. I want to keep doing this with you guys. If you guys enjoy this, make sure to drop a thumbs up on the video. Because if you do, I'll do it more often. If this series gets more views, then I can do it more often. If it doesn't, well guess what? My job is to be able to create content that you guys enjoy, that I enjoy. Um, if you don't enjoy it, then I can't continue to do it as much or as frequently. So, yeah, let me let me know if you guys like it. Let me know in the comment section. Drop a like on the video. Show the love. And uh, hopefully we can, can continue to do this more often. All right. So, yeah, we got a balloon in there. And then that's the deck. I've never played uh, Evo Knight with Lob Hound before. This is a first. Also, I will let you guys know if I'm not good with a deck and I mess it up and I lose because of that. Or if it's anything else. This Electro Wizard, it scares me, man. It scares me. I don't know why it's in there, but it scares me. All right, so Dangerous Carrot, here's your deck. Also, there's a couple other people that just donated. I will take a look at those donations afterwards, I promise. Uh, do you enjoy it? Oh, yeah, I love this series. This series is dope. Um, one of my favorite things to do. I, I really like interacting with you guys. And the fact that we have a series like this is, is a vibe. I'll definitely use Ewiz instead. Uh, love your videos, watch them every day. Hey, that's what we like to hear, man. Another tip is if you guys are not paying attention while you're playing, you can push off a Lumberjack with a Knight. <laughs> Pro tips out here. Easy. Light work. Um, all right. So we can go for a Balloon if we want to, but I don't. I really don't know. Like, I mean, he has Lumberjack, so what, what could he do? He's probably going to have Lumberjack Balloon Freeze, right? We want to save the Mega Minion. Hmm. We want to save the Mega Minion. Let's just go Electro Wizard off the side. That was the most indecisive Electro Wizard I've ever done in my life. Yeah, now we're in a Skeleton Army for sure. Get away from me with that, bro. Miss me with that. The Phoenix is going to kill the Skeleton Army, which is kind of concerning. Oh, please? Please, 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 please. please. That sucks. I mean, I could activate King Tower, but... That actually was bad. It was just bad gameplay. All right, let's Knight at the River so we can tank for the Baby Dragon if we're lucky. I don't think so. I think Baby Dragon's going in front. Do we just arrows? <sighs> Alright, so I mean, one of the difficulties with your deck is you don't have Inferno Dragon, Tombstone, or any defensive, like, high damage card. So how am I going to kill Golem? Like, we really need a Tombstone, or a Barbarian's Evo, or anything that actually does damage besides the Skeleton Army, because the Skeleton Army is about to die to Lumberjack. So as you can see, this is a potential problem for us. I can't kill that, so I'm not going to try to. Instead, we're just going to go all in and hope it works. But we're going to do an Electro Dragon, so yeah, this matchup is not, not it. Yeah. No, this is not, not going to happen. I mean, we can do something like this and pray. I mean, yeah, there is that. We will see. <laughs> you be determined. And we win. Evo Knight has to do everything himself. He's able to, like, get back to an E-Drag and then a Phoenix and just much. But yeah, for me personally, I think this is uh, an unviable deck. I would probably rate it, like, 
5 out of 10 again. Dangerous Carrot. I think it, like, might work against certain things on ladder, like Hog Rider, potentially, if you're using your Electro Wizard against that. Or maybe... I don't know. It's just... It's not that good. Um, main thing I would show you is you just... You noticed how bad we were able to, like, have any type of defense against someone that decided to run Lumberjack or Golem. You can't defend Golem or Lumberjack that much. You, I guess you could go opposite lane, but... All the top ladder Lava Hound Balloon decks that I've witnessed, they all, every single one of them will have Evo Barbs or Minion Horde or something along those lines. So I'm just going to take your deck really quick. I'll show you like something that you could do um, just really fast. Do something like this. So then you have more damage per second. And then instead of the Electro Wizard, I would kind of vibe something like this. Maybe, maybe that. I don't know about the Skeleton Army either. I think that most of the time people will be running like Arrows, um, Arrows Zap or Arrows Fireball. I mean, admittedly, I'm not really that good at Lob Hound, but if I were to tr change your deck slightly, I might do something like this. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of... Let me just let me just grab a good lava hound deck, so then I can give you a good suggestion. Because I don't I don't want to give you bad advice right now. I'm just gonna go and grab one. I'll, I'll grab one off a leaderboard that I think is actually good, and we can show that. All right, cool. Yeah, I found one. So rank 65 in the world, butterfly. This is a great deck to play. Here it is. So yeah, you'll still have the defensive option of like the mega minion, and you'll still end up having re the retention of like the balloon, lava hound, and um, arrows. But you're going to have fireballs so you can actually kill like rail hogs and have splash damage. It's really nice. Uh, you'll be able to kill elixir collectors with the fireball. You'll have that safety net of having the tombstone and the evolved barbarian. So if your opponent's got golem, you're totally fine. And guess what? If your opponent's going to have a inferno, sorry, if they're going to have electro dragon, you can fireball plus arrows it and you'll crush elixir golem that way. So this is a great deck. This deck right here, if you want to play Lavhan Balloon, that's what I would recommend right now in the meta. Of course, if you wanted to, you could change out the Mega Minion for Inferno Dragon if you wanted, and that works fine too. Um, you could swap out the arrows for a Zap. You could swap out the Fireball for a Zap. Those are totally fine decisions. Just wanted to give you guys some different suggestions that you could play. Um, or, 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 there's one other one right here. Um, I'm looking at it. So, here's the Evolved Knight, right? This still retains a similar aspect to what you had. But it's got Fireball, so it can kill the Elixir Collector and still damage down the Elixir Collector. So you can, you know, make sure, hey, if I'm playing against Golem Elixir Collector, I'm not screwed. But you'll also have Inferno Dragon to melt the Golem. You'll have that added benefit. You can swap out the minions and put in a Mega Minion instead since you already have that leveled up. But those would be my two deck suggestions. I'm, I'm just looking at Top Ladder, and I like those ones a lot. Those ones make sense to me. Hopefully that helps you out, and everyone that's playing Lob Hound Balloon, run those decks. Those vibe. Don't run the deck right here that I showed. It's not as good as the two that I just suggested. All right, so Brooke says, Lumber, uh, Lumber Loon, Valk, uh, Wiz, Fireball, Guards, I Drag, please. Wait, how many cards was that? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You gave me seven cards, Brooke. I can't, I can't make a deck with seven cards. <laughs> I appreciate that. I uh, appreciate the $2, but yeah, make sure that you always uh, type seven cards. My main deck, uh, I'm not going to look up things on Ray API. Thank you for the donation because we got to do this fast to maximize as many as we possibly can. Also, Last Pyrex, thank you for the $15. Uh, hey Jake, you guys can't give me you guys can't give me IDs because it would take too long. You got to type out the deck. Um, but Bilal's, I love you, man. Thank you so much. Um, watching, working is great. Take as long as you can. I don't get off for another two hours. I hope this week is treated as great as it is for me. Much love, dude. This week has been really good. Met a lot of awesome people. Um, connected with old friends. It, it, like it has been a really, really, really good week, especially with tennis and just chilling with friends. All right. So Zebra says, Fire Spirit, Ice Spirit. Oh my gosh. I just walked right into a trap. Legitimately right into a trap. This is great. Uh, okay. All right. All right. Here it is. This is we're doing this on ladder. This is this is awesome. I love this. I love my life. Wouldn't change it for the world, guys. Wouldn't change it for the world. All right. All right. Meme decks live. You guys, you can see it. You can feel it. You already know. Got there. And then what's the last card? Uh, you gave me Fire Spirit. Heal Spirit, Evolve Skeletons, Mirror Log, and Wall Breaker. <laughs> I love my life. 
All right. Well, um, Zebra, I can tell you I'd probably change everything. I change everything. Oh, no, dude. He's 822 in the world. Come on, man. He's giving me good luck. I, I need it. I need all the luck I can get, bro, at this point. All right, let's go wall breakers. I choose you. You're my favorite Pokemon. Hell yeah. Right into Dark Prince. Okay, that is not going to connect. Not ideal. All right, what if we do one of these where we, like, mirror up the wall breakers in the back and we finesse him that way and he's, like, not ready? We go for an Electric Spirit, Skeletons. Just going to try to make sure that the Dark Prince does not maul my wall breakers. But, of course, that is exactly what's going to happen. All right, we're going to kite that. How do I kill a goblin giant? What am I supposed to do? All right, just more wall breakers. Just more wall breakers, right? That's the strategy. It's always the strategy. Just more wall breakers, guys. All right, can that kill minions? I'm pretty sure it does. Ah, oh, he wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. He was not ready. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my gosh, dude. Please, please lock onto the tower. No way! I'm a monster! Alright, guys. Guys. I, I, might, I might finagle our way through. We, we might get this W. Imagine. Imagine a universe where I beat a sparky goblin giant fireball deck with this mirror wall breakers shenanigans deck. Yeah, you already know. 800 in the world? I got you, man. You're definitely not going to goblin giant and kill me in two seconds. It's 100% not going to happen. We, we got you on lock, dude. We got this win locked up. No doubt about it. <laughs> Oh, guys, you're really bringing out the inner clown in me right now. I can't believe it. Could not be me. You guys, I'm very mischievous. All right, all right, all right, all right. But how do I kill Mother Witch? Does anyone know? Asking for a friend. Definitely not for myself. Oh, my gosh. How did that? That just feels illegal. That just feels illegal, bro. Can we, can we talk about your Mother Witch hurting me like this? I don't know if this is going to work. Let's try it. Let's go. I choose you. Go skeletons. All right. We need to be spending more elixir. How much is obvious? No. I messed up. I... How did I let that happen? I feel like that's just a complete misplay. That was a complete misplay. That should never happen. Well, I played well until I didn't. <laughs> This is actually kind of funny. I, I might start doing this. Like the Super Cycle decks again. I think that would have been a vibe. So if he didn't have Dark Prince and uh, all this other stuff, I might have been able to win. Dude, I got to rate your deck a 10 out of 10. It was a skill issue. That's why I lost. Facts. Best deck I've ever played in my life, man. Best deck I've ever played in my life. Just a complete skill issue when I lost this game. Maybe. Oh. Man, I could have won that too. That was actually insane. Skill issue. <laughs> 10 out of 10 deck, Zebra. 10 out of 10, bro. Uh, you earned your stripes, bro. You earned your stripes with that deck. Thank you for the $5 and thank you for the fun time. That was actually pretty fun. Not even fib. Uh, this deck got me to champion. You should try it. Lumber, Loon, Mega Knight, Freeze, Zap, Ewiz, Minion, Skeletons. All right. Also, to be fair, I am not going to be doing pure donation messages. So I want to make sure that I... W Sorry, guys. I will be skipping over some donations. I'm not going to be trying every donation deck. I also want it to be for people that are in the chat that are just chilling, vibing, not spending any money. I want to give like equal opportunity between donations and that. So donations will get 50%. So you get a little bit of extra juice, but you won't get the entire, the entire bit. So um, just going to make that clear. So uh, I, I don't want to set false expectations. All right. So let, <laughs> Mega Knight is Mega Knight's one of those cards that does not work very well right now. Um, I was playing against my friend yesterday just for fun. One of my real life friends. And they, uh, they're running Mega Knight. And I just kept activating King Tower with two Elixir cards. Or two Elixir. <laughs> they're like, wait, <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I'm like, you can't do anything. You're just going to lose every time. Even if you're good at the game. Even if you're smart. It's just, there's nothing you can do, really. Um, yeah. It's nice to have friends in real life that actually play Clash. It's a, it has been such a big part of my life. All right. Uh, last card is Balloon. Let's run it. Let's run it. Let's run it. Let's run it. All right, so we're currently at 5,000 world. We've tilted down a little bit, just a little bit. Not that bad. My deck was eight. Please check. Uh, maybe I don't know how to read. I'll check. If it, it was actually eight, then I will run it because I told you it wasn't, so I won't lie to you. Uh, 9,000 player. Evo Cracker, Hog, Cannon, Fireball, Log, Rage, Skeleton's Knight. That actually looks pretty good. I might not play that one, um, but maybe I will. Who knows? 
The next deck I'm going to be picking from the comments or the chat. So the chat is where we're going to be taking the next one. Wait, did I? Is this the right deck? Did I, did I build the right deck? I think I did. Yeah, yeah. So this is one of those decks that I would not play unless it's in double elixir. So it's, it's like, it's boring to do that. So I'm going to cycle minions. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, guys. Uh, that's, uh, that's, that's all I'm going to say. It's boring to do that. So if I cycle a lumberjack, the issue is you could activate King Tower. So we just got to go full, full, full stupid and go lumberjack balloon. And it's the only play. He might activate King Tower with a NATO, but I don't really care that much. He should activate King Tower with a NATO. He will activate King Tower with a NATO. Hey, predictable. Boom. Extra electricity. Reason why I did the Electro Wizard on the second shot. I say this every single time in the video. You guys are going to hate me by now. You always want to make sure you maximize your health of your units. So when the Electro Dragon is going to get two hits on the tower, use that second hit to activate King Tower instead of, you know, just doing it on the first one and then having your Electro Wizard getting hit twice, if that makes sense. Okay, did we finesse him or are we going to get finessed? I don't know what's going to happen here. I actually don't know this interaction. I don't play Derp Knight enough. All right, that was not good on my end. I don't have that much Elixir. I always cycle my Lumberjack there because there's a chance that our opponent's going to activate or like he's going to tornado it to the, the uh, tower and like get damaged. But in reality, he didn't have NATO in cycle because he used it on the balloon. So not my best. Another five because you said uh, 50%. So another 50% make it 100. Oh, dude. <laughs> this is bribery out here. This is, this is, this is bribery. <laughs> You're the type of dude to get pulled over by the policeman for a speeding ticket and be like, yo, so... I should get out of this real quick, real quick. Oh, man. Let me know in the chat if you guys have had any speeding ticket stories. For me, I... So, I will right, we'll tell you guys a story, all right? Martha's Vineyard. I was chilling. I uh, was super sick um, for, like, a couple weeks. And I was like, man, I deserve to, like, get a massage because I... Like, after being sick. All right, I'm not going to get my mas the masseuse sick, all right? All right? So, I, I treated myself. I, I had a massage. I was like, after tennis, I was feeling like, hey, this would feel really good. So... Coming back, I was really relaxed. I was jamming to some music. On Martha's Vineyard, there are no traffic lights. There are no such thing as elevators where I used to live. And guess what, guys? Guess what? I ended up finding myself in a situation where the speed limit was a blazing 30 miles an hour. Actually, no, it was 40. It was 40, all right? So I was going 40 miles an hour. I was, I was going fast. I was speed racing out there, all right? And, oh, no. All right, let's think about this. Uh, so I was speed racing, and we found ourselves in a situation where there's like a little farm. It's called Morning Glory Farm, and I was going past it. I was going past it, and what happened was, oh, please, please, oh, the finesse! That was sick. All right. So we speed raced in that game, too, for that hit. Uh, that zap was pristine. There's no shot I deserve that shot, but we take it. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. I didn't really, like, test your deck that much. It's good, though. I do like the fact that you've got minions and skeletons for a faster cycle. Like, I actually vibe with this. I vibe with this heavily. I mean, I don't think Mega Knight's a good card, so I have to, like, rate it lower. But this is a deck that I would probably play in a video if Mega Knight got a buff or if this deck had, like, a good evolution. I even run evolutions here. Bro, I'd, I'd put this at least at, like, an 8. 8 out of 10. The only reason that it's not higher, like, it could be a 9 if Mega Knight wasn't trash. So. <laughs> Your cards restrict you, sir. I'm sorry. But yeah, that's, uh, that's a pretty fun deck. This is actually one of the more fun decks I've played. Huge shout out to... Who was it that created it? Um, oh man, did I actually not get to see that? Alright, I... Okay, so yeah, Christian. Christian, really, really good deck. Christian Johnson so far with the most unique deck of the day. Um, I would still say the lumber. I would still say the Bowler Graveyard with Knight is way better than this because it's just an objectively stronger deck with an evolved Knight. But this is the most fun deck. So out of not using overpowered decks and overpowered cards, Christian Johnson by far my favorite deck of the day so far. Love your deck, dude. Um, all right, so yeah, yeah. Let's go back to the story as I multitask and grab another deck. So, 
All right, all right. We're going to go and grab someone that did not pay money. Evolve Rail recruits Barb's Tornado. Oh, my gosh, dude. What is this? Joseph Benton, what are, you, what are you doing to me right now? You mastermind. All right, so getting back to the story. Um, there's a little farm nearby, and there's a policeman hiding in the shrubs. He's just chilling there. He's chilling there. So, like, it's, usually roads just go straight, but this one, like, curved a little bit. He's, like, in this little curve right as the speed sign changes from 40 to 30. This homie just turns on his lights, goes after me, and pulls me over, and he's like, you realize you're going 42 miles an hour. I'm like, dude, you have to be joking. Come on, man. Just jam into my music, chilling, having a good time, and you decide to do this to me? He's like, I, I didn't say that. I was thinking that in my head because I was too much of a, you know, I, 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 I'm not very confrontational, all right? But uh, yeah, yeah, so that that happened, and the homie, he, he was not, he was just like, you know, uh, I'm going to give you a speeding ticket. It's going to cost a bunch of money. Here you go. I'm like, great. So uh, this is the most pricey massage I've ever had in my life. He's like, is this your first time? I'm like, yes. Officer, it's my first time. <laughs> it's just like, he was kind of like smiling and stuff. And I was like, dude, like, you fulfilling your quota? Like, what, what's going on here? So I don't know. I, I feel like there's not an indirect quota for... I feel like maybe policemen don't have a quota, but m there's likely some unspoken rule if you're going out and you're not catching anyone ever there's probably a problem so maybe this guy was just screwing around and like chilling at home with his like family or something and he's like you know what it's time to catch a sucker and i was that sucker and it really sucked i think that's what happened so maybe maybe i'm just very wrong but if you guys are ever going in like a very rural area watch out for those those policemen they uh they they, they, go, they go for blood man they go for blood all right, so Joseph has got the Goblin Gang bomb tower, but a Goblin Barrel. Oh man, dude, I even copied your deck incorrectly. I guess I'm still shattered. I'm still rattled. There's a bomb tower in here. Oh no, dude, come on, don't do this to me, Joseph. Don't do this to me. This, 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 this should not be in there, bro. Um, put in a Goblin Cage already in the deck is like a little bit better. Also, probably wouldn't put in a Goblin Barrel. Would do Skeleton Barrel or something. But let's let's run the deck. Let's run it as intended. All right. I want you to do a video about a 1.3 cycle deck, but with Evo Skeletons, thanks so much for playing that deck. I definitely deserve a 0 out of 10 for the deck. <laughs> no, for everyone that's wondering, it is a 0 out of 10. Do not play that deck. There are so many people that, okay, that's an over-exaggeration. There's like five people each video that when I do a meme deck, they're like, Cheek, I played it and it sucks. And I'm like, bro, in the intro, I said the deck was garbage and I said that it's impossible to win. Please. Do not take this as a serious deck. And then they do. And I'm like, no, this is why we can't have nice things. So sometimes that happens and it's, it's a little bit demoralizing, but it'd be what it be, you know, it do be that way sometimes. Um, man, I'm just having such a good day. I really am. I'm, I'm having a, a fun time. I want to do these streams more often. You guys, you guys come up with the, the interesting uh, sauce. It's, it's even more fun than trash your treasure. Cause I get to do it live with you guys. You know, it's, it's such a vibe. How to submit a deck, you just type it in the comments, man, and I, or in the, the chat, and then I, I check it out. All right, so we use Magic Archer a lot, so I'm glad that you guys like using my favorite card in Clash Royale. I appreciate that. Sir. You guys let me know uh, speeding ticket stories in the comment section. If you guys are watching this VOD at a later day, I want to I read some funny speeding ticket stories because I want to feel better about myself. <laughs> All right. So getting back to business, let's just go Goblin Gang and try to get in a single file line so then the goblins are going to take the target. Notice how the first goblin gets hit by the baby dragon. The second one, the st second stab goblin was not going to. Damn. Feels so weird running barbarians without the evolution. Um, use a deck with only win conditions. Well, I mean, you have to suggest the deck. You, I'm not going to torture myself on purpose, all right? All right? I mean, I kind of am, but I'm not going to, you know? All right, this guy is absolutely getting shattered right now. Also, that baby dragon. Oof, that's that's a yikes for me, big dog. Likely that in the wrong side. Also, um, I don't know if you guys... Uh, so, when I played tennis, one of the weirdest things that I... So, there's sometimes these weird sayings, right? If you did really well in tennis, people said you were tree. Does anyone have any weird, like... I guess verbs or anything like that that you guys had from sports that were inside jokes. 
I just remember that because the guy's clan is Pine Trees. And then someone was asking about tennis. Yo, what's up, Seahawk? I, I don't know how to say your name correctly, so I'm sorry if I said it incorrectly, but I love you, man. You, you are so good at this game. So huge shout out to Seahawk for stopping by the stream. Love you, dude. You are one of the better Royal Giant and Graveyard players that I've ever seen. I've literally stolen so many decks from you and then put you in the video and said, hey, look at this Graveyard player. He's killing everyone. And I'm like, oh, he's kind of, kind of good at this game. Maybe a little bit, you know. All right, anyway, this Bond Tower is OP. Wait, can I activate King Tower? No, I can't. I want to, but I can't. Da, 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 da. All right, we recruits in the back. All right, I need to get a little bit better at this game because that is pathetic. Uh, wait, we Magic Archer? No. We go Goblin Gang? No. We chill? Yes. Goblin Gang split is always where it's at. Unless... I mean, how dumb is this? Hey, it ain't that bad. Use his bar barrel too. Let's see how this does. We probably gotta go recruits because I don't want to lose to an evolved knight right now. I really dislike losing to an evolved knight. Wait, why is he graveyarding when? Okay. I guess we're not in a good spot because that baby dragon is going to hurt my feelings. Let's tornado it back and hope we don't die. <laughs> Flawless strategy, guys. Tornado it back and hope we don't die. Yeah. Uh, so duffed. Yeah, we lose. Uh, I could have probably played this a little bit better. I think maybe a, uh, probably a skill issue a little bit on my end. But also at the same time, this match was not a, not a desirable situation. You want to go off his lane most of the time. Please Barbro on me, sir. I can keep my magic archer alive. Oh, that is not a Barbro. That is not a Barbro. That is definitely not a Barbro. That is two baby dragons and one very dead Jake. So for me, oof, I got to rate this. Yike. Oh, yeah, let's go. If you guys ever play against me, always give me the peace out emote. GG, well played to our opponent. Um, I mean, Recruits Evolution, are, it's a really strong card. The Bomb Tower is useless. It doesn't do anything in this matchup, or in most matchups. It's not useless because it gives you splash damage and maybe like a way of countering like win conditions like a Golem or something or a Balloon. This isn't like a terrible, terrible deck. I give it a 6 out of 10. It's just not good. You got to replace this for a Goblin Cage. And then, I mean, it's, instead of running Magic Archer and you want to run like Dark Goblin so you have more Log Bait, right? And then the Tornado doesn't really make that much sense. Having Barbarians in a deck that doesn't have the evolutions, I don't like. I would run like a... Where's the Brainless deck? I'd run something like this. This deck is way better. Like, if you actually want to have success on Ladder, you run the Brainless version, and this, this deck slaps. If you don't have Mighty Miner, you can run Cannon Cart instead, and that works as well. So I would highly discourage you from running something like this, where you're not getting counter push as much, and you can't break through really defensive decks because your Bomb Tower is like, Herb Derp, I'm going to sit on your side of the map. I'm not going to do anything. Herp Derp, the Goblin Barrel, it gets countered really easily by a Bar Barrel or a Tornado. Your Magic Archer, it's always going to get poisoned. If they have a semblance of intelligence and they cycle Baby Dragons, you're not going to be able to break through with your Recruits and your Barbarians. For that matchup, it's not going to happen unless they really mess up. Or you get a lot of damage early on with the uh, Evolved Recruits. Anyway, not a good deck in my opinion. I would definitely swap it out to the deck that I showed there. Hopefully that helps you out. Um, yeah. All right, all right. So... Let's keep taking a look. Uh, there are some other things. I would love advice as Rend. I just played P.E.K.K.A. Battle Ram. Um, I would highly encourage you to not play P.E.K.K.A. right now in the meta. <laughs> it sounds so bad to say that. So Rend, I would highly, highly, highly recommend you to play an Evolved Knight Bridge Spam deck with Battle Ram instead of P.E.K.K.A. So like literally swap out your P.E.K.K.A. for an Evolved Knight. If that makes sense. And then you can run Magic Archer instead of the Evolve Firecracker. That's what I would do, man. Because you have Tornado in the deck. Run Evolve Knight instead of the P.E.K.K.A. And then run uh, Magic Archer instead of the Evolve Firecracker. Hopefully that helps you. That deck will be a lot better. Because you'll also have synergy with the, the E-Wiz and the Magic Archer. So I just wanted to tell you that really quick. Alright, so there's another deck. I've been trying to... Okay. Uh, ult, I will take a look at your deck right now. Lumber Loon Fisherman. Oh my gosh, you guys love the Lumber Loon. What is up with y'all and loving the Lumber Loon? It, it is just in your guys' religion out here. It's just Lumber Loon all day. For real. I did not expect that. Is that, is that all we're going to play today? 
All right, I might. After this game, we're going to be allergic to uh, Lumberjack Balloon, and we're not going to be playing anymore. All right, so this is the last one. Ult, uh, or Ut, uh, Utkarsh. This is the last Lumberjack Balloon. You you are granted the privilege of it. It's fun, but uh, we're not doing it unless we get it randomized. Um, Mother Witch. Oh, man, this is an interesting deck. I was going to say weird, and I was like, I'm not going to offend him, and then I just said it. But no, nah, I, like, I like weird decks, too. They're fun. Um, almost all my decks are pretty weird. Ice Spirit got a nerf, so not a huge fan of the card anymore. Still good. It's just not as broken as it used to be. Skeleton Dragons, one of the most underrated and underappreciated cards in Clash. You know what? I Right now, Cursory Glance, I do vibe with it a bit. The issue is, what happens when they just predict your Fisherman and then you can't go and pull the Royal Giant or, you know, they tornado it. I, well, I guess you have Lumberjack Balloons, so then they can't really tornado the uh, Fisherman. Like away from the King's activation, right? Because they're going to be tornadoing uh, on your balloon. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. We'll see what happens. So I'm always ambivalent about cycling my Skeleton Dragons at the start. Uh, I don't like splitting them that much anymore because I want to bait out the Fireball, right? I want to bait out the big spell, especially when I run Golem. I love baiting out spells with the Skeleton Dragons so that my Mother Witch, at least in this deck, would be able to give us something or the Electric Collector in the other deck would be able to give us something. All right. We vibing out here. We having a good time. All right, we're just going to go for uh, a log. That should be more than enough. We got a pig, so I think we're okay. Wait, if we eat the recruits and we go Lumberjack Balloon, do we just win? We might have just won. He's down so much elixir. He fireballed. He dropped recruits. He didn't get good trades on either of them. He's in a tragic pot, the spot. Uh, I said pot. <laughs> he's, he's a plant, guys. He's growing right now. All right, can we hit the timing? Are we, are we finesse? Are we going to finesse? No, we're not good enough. We're not clean with it. We're not clean with it. Yo, I have uh, like a really bad memory of hitting that timing two or three times in a row. And then the one time I miss it, I get flamed by the other guy. He's just like, Goblin laughs at me. He's like, ah, I get wrecked. You didn't hit the hardest timing in Clash Royale three times or four times in a row. I'm like, dude, I realize it's sad. It's tragic. Don't hurt me like this. All right, watch this. It'd be really funny if he clicks the ability. Yo, he did it! <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry. I should not be laughing that hard, but he tried to evade the fisherman pulling the Mighty Miner with the ability, and then he spent one elixir to activate King Tower for me. That That is funny. You guys have to admit. All he had to do was not click the ability, and he did the one thing he wasn't supposed to. So that... That is awesome. I, that that's like. He th he thought he was being smart, but he did the worst possible play he could have done. That, was, that that's awesome. Oh man, he just had to not do anything. He just had to chill, you know. <laughs> oh, dude, I love Clash Royale for that reason. Like this game, is so much fun because you can make out plays that no one expects. Right? There's situations where maybe it's not necessarily something that happens often, but. If you can outsmart your opponent, it's so cool. It's really one of the coolest things in, in uh, I don't know. I love, I love outsmarting people. I love feeling intelligent, you know? All right, we just go balloon and he loses. He didn't play very well, so, you know, it happens sometimes. I love your deck, dude. This is fun. This is a good time. This is, this is a good time. He only has Fireball and Dark Goblin in his deck, so he's just dead, so. When the Dark Album was cycled, which he was not allowed to cycle, um, he lost the game instantly. It was just like a, it was a timer, you know, I could have taken the tower at any point. If you cycle the Dark Album and you only have Fireball, chances are you're probably not going to win, bro. <laughs> uh, your voice is so deep today, in a good way though. Hey, I mean, hopefully, hopefully it's always a good way, man. I've been using this Graveyard Poison uh, cycle for years. Graveyard Poison, Archers, Ice Golem, Mega Minion. Okay, all right, I guess we run that. Um... If it's for years, I am so scared because what if there's not an evolved card? I, if there's an evolved card in your deck, Primal, I'm definitely going for it. Also, I love that his name is Primal. He's like, I've been using this for years since the caveman days. I'm having such a good time in life right now, guys. It's so important to surround yourself with good people. People that you like actually look forward to talk to every day. Um, I've been playing like Pokemon Showdown, doing crosswords, playing tennis. Going on um, dinners. I've been doing that so much more frequently than I have before. 
I'm sure you guys can see a difference in my mood. I'm just so much happier. Really, really important to do that. Even if you guys um, feel like you don't need to, socializing with friends is just so nice. Instead of just like um, you know, not planning things as often. Plus, like one thing that I've been doing is like having a more not rigid time schedule, but you know, setting aside time where I'm just like, you know what, I'm just gonna do whatever I want during this time, and it doesn't really matter, even if it's unproductive. It's still intentful, like living life in that way, because you're like, hey, I intend to like have a good time, or I intend to just like decompress, relax, vibe. All right, so there's an inferno tower in here. Damn. There's also a, <laughs> okay. Wait, I saw ice golem. I'm like, dude, there's golem. So there is, there's two different um, lines, right? There was ice on one line, and there was golem on the other. And I saw golem on the third line. I'm like, damn. There's an inferno tower golem deck primal. Like, what are you doing to me, bro? What, what's happening? Graveyard poison archers. Is, that's what I'm missing. I love skeleton dragons so much, by the way. Oh, the last deck. I forgot to rate it. Um, I think it's unique. I think it's a 7.5 out of 10 just because the Fisherman. I don't... I think Fisherman's not that great of a card. As much as I love it and how unique it is, it only really works great with Royal Giant decks. As bad as it is to say. Um, I don't think I could change change the deck or anything, but the main issue that I had with it um, is if I play against someone that has a balloon counter with a tornado and a building, I will never win. Your cycle isn't fast enough because you don't have a champion three-card three, three card cycle. So you're not going to break through. You're just going to lose every time. Every time you match into someone that's good with a bomb tower tornado or like a tornado in a uh, tornado in a building, you're not going to win. It's impossible. So at higher levels of play, you're going to get wrecked. Um, that's the reason I got to give it a 7.5 out of 10. But, you know, if you're not top 2,000 in the game, this deck works all the way all, all the way up to ultimate champion. Your deck would work in ultimate champion. Cool deck. So 7.5 out of 10 for me. Nothing I would really change besides maybe... Uh, maybe replacing like the the log with like skeletons for a faster cycle and then also having an evolution with the skeletons or the bats i would probably do that and you could do electro spirit instead of ice spirit but you already have the mother witch for graveyard counters so i don't think you need it the log is nice though too it's hard to say maybe you could run freeze freeze and then skeletons maybe i would run freeze instead of snowball and then skeletons instead of um Skeletons instead of Log, and then Electric Spirit instead of uh, Ice Spirit. You could try something like that, or like run Double Spirits, Fire Spirit, Ice Spirit, and then like Skeletons, and have a really fast three-card cycle. You could experiment with stuff like that, but your deck also as is is fine. I, I, it's hard for me to uh, give any recommendations there. All right, so Primal also had Barbro in there. I'm so sorry. I'm like, I'm really slacking out here. There's a Mega Minion in there. Dude, what... Why are there always, like, new cards? Like, I'm just looking at it. There's, like, another card. There's another card. Um, where where does that... What do I replace for that? Ice Spirit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you had Ice Golem. So, I was like, oh, Ice Golem, Ice Spirit, same thing. <laughs> I got a speeding ticket with my brand new vehicle when I came out of the car dealership. I wasn't used to the reactive pedals. I exited the dealership and went 45 in a 30, uh, 30 mile an hour zone, says uh, Zerus uh, Wider. Yeah, dude, that's kind of funny. That's memes. I like hearing these type of stories. It's nice, you know, like we should have story time on stream where I tell you guys things. I read your guys' stories. It'd be kind of cool, you know, <laughs> maybe we could just like kind of integrate it in uh, all these live streams. I like having these live streams just be like go with the flow a little bit more chill. They're always a good time. All right, we can go for a ice golem here and then go for a graveyard on the left-hand side. I don't do this often, but when I see a bowler, I'm expecting to be a graveyard deck or a lumberjack balloon freeze. So when I know that that's going to... Oh my gosh. I was going to say, he will not have a good answer to graveyard because he's got bowler. But homie has the witch. The wicked witch of the west. I didn't expect that. All right, we're going to go skellies. That should be light work to uh, ransack the bowler. Yo, Sleepy, thank you for the dollar, man. Appreciate you. I was super sleepy the last couple days. I also probably ate moldy raspberries because I'm very smart. I'm extremely intelligent. If you guys don't know one thing about me is there's a there's an issue with my brain where I either dive into things really quickly because I have very little patience, so I just do it, or I overspend time and think through everything and overthink. It's a very stark dichotomy, but that is how I am as a person. So I looked at the raspberries. I was like, oh, these look pretty good. 
Let's go wash them. I washed the raspberries. I put them on my cereal. I ate the cereal. I was like, oh, this is freaking delicious. I look back and I'm like, oh, that, that's not good. That's not good. It was, it was not a vibe. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I would not recommend. Also, I don't know if this guy's going to get... Oh, he did get back to you. That's great. Wait, maybe the archer can finish it off. So the cool thing that I got here, this is pure, pure luck. He did not get much counter push there. All right, watch this. You guys ready for the pure finesse? I think the skeletons finesse everything. I think the skeletons kill the uh, evil barbs. That's so funny. Dude, I didn't spend any elixir. Uh, let's do this and not go for a graveyard because I think that would be a bad decision. I like bad life choices. Do you guys like bad life choices? Bad life choices make great stories. No! Ah! Get away! Don't target me. Don't do it. Don't be a bully. Leave me alone. All right, thank you. Thanks for listening. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. All right, he's going to go Mother Witch in the back. Let's just straight up poison it. Easy. Light work, light work. Oh, I'm an animal. That's so good. <laughs> Am I an animal? Not really. I just made a prediction. It kind of worked, luckily. I hate when buildings um, decompose, but the building is still there. So it's hard to like place a building where it was before. If that makes any sense. Like the bomb tower when the bomb's there and you can't place your building. There's nothing more triggering in Clash Royale. The Inferno Tower still being there is like not good. All right, we lose, but, you know, happens. I, I don't dislike your deck either. I think your deck is fine. I think it's just better with Freeze instead of Poison. Um, with Freeze, I might have been able to finesse it. Uh, but we also played against an Evo Barbarians and also uh, Mother Witch, so kind of not a good matchup. I like how the game's, uh, the guy's name is uh, Bay's Love Hard Counter. So he kind of, he kind of, he manifested that hard counter. Your deck... Oh, man, it's an 8 out of 10. You guys are giving me... Nah, actually, no. 7.7 7 out of 10. It's better than the Fisherman Free stack. It's got an evolution. But it's not an 8 status. It's 7.7. 7. It's, it's lucky numbers. So if you go to the casino, you could get lucky and not play against a Mother Wish deck that has Evo Barbs. But sometimes you could just lose everything. So, yeah, that, that game we lost everything. Can we give away three Diamond Passes? You can choose how to give them away. Damn, Jordan! Thank you so much for the 50. Yes, sir. All right. Well, I don't know how to do that, but I will figure that out. Jordan, we will give away three diamond passes. I'm going to write that down. Uh, give, give me the SpongeBob meme of write that down, write that down. Jordan Schner, uh, Jordan Schner, three diamond pass giveaway. You know what? I think I'll do something in the comment section. We'll figure it out. Or next live stream. Um, we will give away three diamond passes. Whether it's in the comment section of this video. You guys tell me your funny speeding story. and uh, Or a speeding ticket story. Probably not funny speeding. But funny speeding ticket story. Um, or any, any story that you guys have. Anything for memes in the comment section. And uh, I'll pick three of them. And I'll give the diamond pass away. That's what we're going to do. That's the strategy. Huge shout out to Jordan for making that happen with a $50 dono. My man, that is crazy. So after, after you giving away three diamond passes, I think, I think you have successfully bribed me, Jordan. We are going to check out your deck, all right? We'll do it right now. Huge shout out to Jordan for that. Love you, man. Appreciate that. Also, chat, people in the comment section, thank Jordan as well because there's now a chance that you guys getting three diamond passes, which you know would not have happened to other, uh, other than him. Or we could also just give it away to the people that get the best, uh, some of the decks for the video. Sorry. We could do that as well. We should probably probably do some prize for people that are getting the best decks for the videos. We should do that in the future. Um, obviously, since I already said the, the, the giveaway for the, um, I already said the giveaway, we're going to do that. We're definitely doing the giveaway um, from a perspective of like, uh, whoever's stories in the comment section will do that. But next time, I think we should do prizes for people that have the most unique deck, the best deck overall, and then the Mimia deck. We would do that. It should be a fun time. Or maybe it's just like one deck, the deck that I enjoyed playing the most or the most funny games. I don't know. We'll figure something out next time. This is just way more impromptu and chill. Skeletons and Knight. Why is it black screen for so long? Why does it show a black screen? It should not be black screen. It, it, is it black screen for you guys or are we good? It should be good, right? 
Um, the last card is Knight. The thing that I do like about this deck is that you can choose whichever thing you want. However, I mean, is it is it because you rage and then you mess up the building placement? I think that's it, right? I think that's why you're doing that. The cannon for a really fast cycle. I kind of, I'm kind of missing a nice spirit here, bro, or like an electric spirit or something. Electric spirit against graveyard. The issue here is graveyard is gonna finesse this deck really hard. Black screen. It shouldn't be black screen anymore. We're chilling, right? We good? Yeah, we good. Fifty grown ups. All right, dude. If I join your clan, I'd be the the ultimate child. All right, we're gonna go for a hog rider here. Uh, we can cannon. All right, so I can't finesse that. I don't have zap, so that's annoying. Why does he have wall breakers with fisherman? What's homie cooking out here? What is homie cooking? Okay, well, fortunately we have like multiple small spells, so we're chilling that way. We can go skellies. Damn, look at that value. Hell yeah. All right, we go for a firecracker in the back and we're just gonna keep going. Hey man, love the videos. Have you seen Juicy J, uh, Ladder, and Evo Recruits with Elixir Collector? It's pure spam. I generally don't watch other content creators. Um, I love playing this game. And I love chilling with you guys. And all the time that I have spending on this game is generally spent with you guys instead of uh, watching other people play. Plus, like, um, I, if, you, if you're a content creator and you copy someone else's deck, isn't that kind of, like, I don't know, you can do it. It's just, wouldn't you want all of your content to be unique? For me, personally, I want my content to be as unique as possible. I could rage that, but I just don't see the point. I'd rather go for a firecracker and then spam more stuff. But yeah, if you do the same strategies as other people that are content creators that have already made the video, what's the reason for people to watch your content, right? Plus, uh, I don't know. I like uh, I like creating it. I like figuring out different decks on the spot. Sure, sometimes a lot of the decks are not necessarily novel. When I run really overpowered decks, do you think that everyone has played them before? Probably, right? So they're and they're not super unique or anything. I like I like running more unique decks when I get the chance or opportunity. All right, we can log this. We can run it with a log. We do have Evolve Firecracker, so that's kind of cool. Not extremely cool, but it's decent. Can we vibe with that? Maybe, hopefully. Hopefully the Evolve Firecracker doesn't die to the uh, other crews. That's all I care about. Okay, I did not play that very well, did I? Okay, he doesn't have Fireball in Cycle, so maybe we can still do something. All right. Hmm. This is looking really rough. All right, we can log this. Is this the recruit stack that you were talking about, bro? Man, not good. All right, we can do this. Because if it is, it's actually pretty good. Wait, the cannon pulls both those. That was a misplay on his end, for sure. Wait. It actually ain't that bad for us right now. That's pretty bad. That, that should have died. I messed up. I threw. If I didn't hog rider into that, I think I would have been in a better spot, but who knows. Yeah, I can't kill that, can I? If I raged on the other side, I might have been able to win that. I like your deck. I, um, again, like, one of the issues that we have here is, uh, if we match into, like, Graveyard, I think that that would be the worst matchup. The last game was totally my fault losing that. Sure, we didn't really have that much splash damage, but I could have finessed our way through if I played better. Yeah, let's run it again. I usually don't do this. This is the only other deck that we're doing it with, but I want to run it one more time. Also, Hun, thank you so much for the, the gifted sub. I appreciate you supporting the community and giving the community some good vibes out here. Thank you. Hey, it's the first time I'm attending your live. Let's go. Yes, sir. That's a sub. Lord Grimm, is that from the, the K-drama? I watched one of those like a long time ago. Is that is that what it's from? Dude, I uh, usually hated K-dramas, but there was, one, there was one gaming one that I actually watched. That was really fun. That was a long time ago. Yeah, that was, that was a vibe. 
I think that was. So we want a cannon here, so it's going to tank for the baby dragon. You can also rage. And then when he goes in for a tornado, we want to make sure that he can't end up uh, activating the king. Or not the king. Yeah, uh, just nadoing on, uh, nadoing on the knight, so then it can end up hitting the tower. But yeah, we got the graveyard matchup. Let's see if we can win it. This is the one that I was worried about. This is the one I was most worried about. He's going to try to use units to body block, and then the firecracker is going to give us value. The reason why he was going to use units is because he want to activate a king tower with a tornado. I think. That fireball was worth. I think. I don't know. That's the time to better. How do you stay so calm defending big pushes? It says Dan does all sorts. That's my downfall. I panic. I throw 70 elixir at it. Uh, I've played the game a lot. It's just like muscle memory. Also, um, you just end up playing the game a lot and then... Nerves go away, right? You know, if you've never done something before, you're going to get so nervous or you're like not never done something before, but in into the degenerate amount of hours that I've played on this game, you have not played near as much. So that's just something that is a fact of life. You know, if you haven't played as much as someone else, they're likely going to be able to have a different experience there. Something to keep in mind. But no stress for you, dude. If you end up struggling with big pushes, just keep playing the game, and then eventually it's gonna, it'll fade to a point that it won't, you won't have that issue. There's definitely a vibe, you know. All right, we're gonna rage this up. Yeah, that did not work. Yeah, I don't like love rage with Hog Rider besides of the glitch. The glitch is really good, but other than that, yeah, not super loving it. Um, I, I think like a faster cycle, even with Mighty Miner, would be better beneficial. I do like Evolve Firecracker, though. There's, um, I'll show you. So there's going to be a video that I, I uh, put out soon about like a good Hog Rider deck with, um, I don't know what it was, but yeah, it's a fun Hog Rider deck. All right, this guy's just going to all in me right now. All right, know it. I like using Rage on defense because it helps the tower, or it uses the tower as its benefit. I'm going to log and then go Skeletons. See how he tried to do the cheesy NATO? really annoying when that happens. I love how Evolve Knight never dies. That everyone ever. In Clash Royale. Alright, does this do something? Kind of funny, but it's also sad that it never dies. Keep cycling firecrackers. Keep raging it up. Keep praying that they do damage. We log here. Damn, we out here, boys. I did it, Jordan. I, I beat the graveyard deck I didn't want to play against. Let's go, bro. So it's nice to use rage on defense against graveyard compared to log. Because the rage will help your tower finish off the graveyard skeletons a little bit faster. Go plays. Jordan, your deck's fun, but... Um, yeah, I think you probably meant it to be fun. More so than for, like, completely competitive, serious. Um, the fireball's nice because you're able to break through, knock back stuff. Instead of, like, running Earthquake, I like the fireball, for sure. I mean, you can't really change anything. If if you wanted to, you could make, like, Tesla instead of Cannon. Or run Inferno Tower instead of Cannon, but then it's, like, really bad cycle. Uh... Maybe try Ice Golem instead of Knight, but then you wouldn't end up having any damage potential, so you'd lose a lot of times. Can't really switch the deck, bro. You can't really switch the deck. The only thing that I could do is like maybe swap out like the Log for Snowball or Rage for Snowball. Tesla for Cannon. Those are like the small changes, but I don't even know if I'd like that more. Yeah, you know, I'd give it like a... <sighs> I'd give it like a 7.8 out of 10. 7.8 out of 10, I think. Pretty bad against Graveyard. Pretty bad um, if you're not, like, OP at the game. Likely better than the um, the Balloon deck again, but... Eh, it's it's still not at the level of, like... Still not at the level of these type of decks. Where is it? Like, the, the Graveyard Freeze deck, like this? This deck is just so good. I don't know. We gotta have to have a different way of rating stuff as well, because I so far, nothing is as good as this Graveyard Freeze deck. Just because Evolve Knight is broken. <laughs> like, like if you guys just give me meta decks I think the meta deck would win so I think we have to do something else alright
So Evo recruits Valkyrie, Hog Rider, Wallbreakers, Log Arrows, Dark Goblin, Bats. Says Sleepy. All right, dude. All right. And we're not going to sleep on your deck. We'll see how it is. And then after that, we're going to be checking out a whole bunch of um, decks that everyone's spamming in the chat. All right, so I don't love um, Hog Rider with the recruits. There's like one deck that I like playing with Hog Rider, and it's got Barb Hut. It's actually really fun. I stole it off of um, the rank like 20 player in the world. Really, really good though. Man. Also, guys, have you ever had an experience where like you haven't admitted something before and then you... um. Personally, I, I, uh, I, for the first time in my life, I admitted that I like sang in the car and I was like, I just got like such a red face. Someone asked me it yesterday and they're like, do you sing in the car? I'm like, no. And they're like, yeah, you do. Like, oh, damn. It was, I, my face got so red because it was like one of those things that I'm so embarrassed by because my voice is so bad whenever I sing. Do you guys, do you guys ever have those things where you're like internally, you just never want to admit it, even though it doesn't mean anything, you know, it's like something that everyone kind of does. You let me know. You let me know. Or maybe you're going to be like, Jake, no one does that. Just you. Uh, only when people can't hear me. All right. So Evo recruits, uh, Dark Goblin, Bats. Yeah, we're good. This is it. This is the deck. On the next one. We all sing in the car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, this mug is OP. It's so OP. Play SimCity. Make it work. Whatever you want, but include Cannon Cart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you, Elijah. Thank you, man. I don't know if I'll get to that today because, of course, I can't get to every donation. I just want to make that abundantly clear. If you guys are donating, I will read it. I can't guarantee that I'll do it. All right, so we, we expected this guy to not be ready for the ninja assassin of the Dark Goblin on the tower, but he was ready. His, his body was definitely prepared, so that was not good. Uh, my donation got skipped, I think, broski. Uh, I'm sorry I missed that. Let me take a look. There's definitely some other ones that I missed. A lot of other ones I missed. If there's things that I missed, I'll just go through it as we're playing. Because this is going to be a more lackadaisical game. Alright, so... Wait, can I play? Do you guys think I can play Recruits Evolution while reading? I think I can. I believe. Full faith, full faith, full faith. Alright. Um, Mark says, Mega Knight, Inferno Dragon, Arrows, Lightning, Tesla, Bats, Knight. You can use Evo, uh, Evo Knight. Um, since I don't have any Evo cards. Yeah, so I would not run Mega Knight plus Tesla. Uh, the reason why, Mega Knight's a counter-pushing card, where Tesla is a defensive card that's usually used in control decks, like Minor Poison, or like Tesla plus, uh, what do we say? Like, I guess, Tesla plus Expo, right? So Tesla's a really, really good card when you're using it defensively with defensively oriented decks. But your deck is not defensively oriented. You've got Mega Knight. So I would type in Surtag Mega Knight, and there's a whole bunch of decks that you can choose from. There's a lot with Inferno Dragon as well. There's actually a Mega Knight deck with Hog Rider Inferno Dragon. You can type in Surtag uh, Mega Knight deck, and I would run the Mega Knight one with uh, Inferno Dragon and Hog Rider. You would probably really like that one. So highly suggest you to play that, Mark. Um, I won't be able to get to, around to uh, playing that one today, but I do appreciate the suggestion. I did want to read it. Can you explain the archetype of Splash Art? The Splash Art, which one? There's two. There's the Graveyard Freeze one, and then there's the Poison one. Both of them, uh, most, of the, most of the way that you're going to play, the one with the Evolved Knight, you build up really big pushes with Graveyard Poisons with, when you have the Evolved Knight because the Evolved Knight's broken. And then you stack up like Baby Dragons behind it, and then it's so annoying because they, they have to kill the Evolved Knight. Then they have to kill the baby dragon, and then they also have to kill the graveyard skeletons. And generally, you're going to be up elixir because your efficiency on defense is really high, so it's not easy for them to win. Um, just something to keep in mind that that splash yard deck, they generally work a lot better in double elixir because when you have a lot of splash damage in your deck, there's more units on the map in double elixir, so your splash damage will do better than single targeting cards the later the game gets. So the bowlers, inferno dragons, um, the, 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 the heavy cost cards as well, and the, uh, in the, the Graveyard Freeze version, they, it, that one's just broken in late stages. Like, so unfair. We're gonna wait for that Bond Tower to die, and then we're gonna go for a Hog by the Bats and Wallbreakers. Like, full send, actually. Uh... I don't think I did that correctly. I think that the Wallbreaker should have been on the other side, but it's fine. Oh, never mind. It worked perfect. Nice. Very nice. Also, when you've got recruits, the, the best way to play this is just cycling recruits as often as you possibly can. 
If you cycle, if you're ambivalent about cycling your recruits, you're not playing the game right. It's uh, just an easy card to cycle and get value from. It's actually really far back. You messed that up. The bats will clean it up, and then the Dark Goblin. Oh my gosh, if we hit the other one, that would have been sick. I think. Let's see right here. And then we Wall Breakers to beat out the Bomb Tower. Trying to beat out the Bomb Tower as much as we can, so then we get value. Oh, the bats are on the tower. That's huge. Wall Breakers connect. Nice. Just go recruits so we don't eat the spear goblin damage, not worth it. But get a bomb tower out of him and then go hog rider bats afterward on the left hand side. So any any units he defends with are not gonna give him counter push. He's gonna go goblin gang, we'll arrows it. Light work. We log the goblin gang. <laughs> I knew he was gonna do it. Alright, we're just gonna go recruits again at the river. Stand and deliver. Make our opponent shiver. Alright, sorry about the rhymes. I know they're cringe as heck. I love doing them though. All right, we're going to go arrows. And... Oh! Wow, that was luck. One little Spear Goblin survived. Can't believe he was so lucky. Just kidding. You guys know. Uh, that's really far back again. I don't know what's what's up with this guy and like giving me so much value with my bats, but... Fine. I mean, I can get two Elixir Counter Pushing that will force out a lot of extra stuff. He has to drop Bomb Towers like that. Not ideal. Honestly, this deck I thought was going to be really not good, but... The more I play it, the more fun it is. Dude, what is... How? How does this deck work? I actually don't understand. I literally... It's, so the Valkyrie is really random and bad. The Valkyrie needs to not be in the deck. Um, but other than that, I like it. Like, if you put a Dark Prince in there, it might make your deck like 10 times better. The Valkyrie is extremely random. It's just like one of those derpy cards that does not counter push. It has very slow um, counter pushing mechanisms. I get that you don't have like splash damage in your deck, but this would make your deck a lot better. Or, 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 just gonna throw it out here. Best substitution is this, by far. But then you don't have that defensive utility. Like the Valkyrie is like pretty good on defense. So maybe the better one is this. It works though. Your deck does work. Or, actually, this is way better. This slaps. This slaps. 100%. I, I would go for Skeleton King. And uh, honestly, I don't think the deck is as bad as I thought it would be. Because you just overwhelm with rail recruits. Recruits are so broken right now. And then you'd have the Skeleton King ability. If you did this, I think it could be like an 8.5, man. How? How does this work? I have to try this, dude. I'm, I'm doing this in the future. I. Screenshotting this, this might be a deck on my YouTube channel. I don't I don't know guys. We might have found something new. <laughs> this was really fun. That was actually really, 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 really fun. Thank you. Thank you for the suggestion. Alright, we're going through the other ones. We're speed running. I'm 20 and 2 with balloon cycle. It's night, uh, firecracker, balloon, skeleton barrel, skeletons, cannon, fireball, snowball. We played that before, T V T. That deck seems really, really good. Again, it's Evo Knight, Firecracker, Balloon, Skeleton Barrel, Skeletons, Cannon, Fireball, and Snowball. So what he does is he probably pushes the balloon with the skeleton barrel and does that cheesy strategy that B Rag created. Pretty fun though. Also, Lord Grim, thank you again for the um for the dono. Hey man, love the videos. Uh, yeah, I saw that earlier. Capex says, would you try my deck, Mega Knight, Firecracker, Hog Rider, Wall Breakers, Monk? I just played a, uh, a Hog Rider deck, so I'm trying to switch it up. But I do like that, Capex. Thank you for the uh, suggestion. The one thing I would replace is I wouldn't run Tombstone with Mega Knight. You don't really want to run buildings with Mega Knight unless you're running Mega Knight Graveyard. Mega Knight Graveyard, you can run a building because then you're running a really defensive deck and it's always Goblin Cage plus Mega Knight. Tombstone plus Mega Knight is not it. I would not ever run that. Your deck seems a little bit more clunky. I would also replace the Monk for something else because having Monk, Tombstone, and Mega Knight in the same deck means that you have no anti-air responses. And if your opponent goes Balloon and you're stuck with that type of card cycle, you automatically lose. Love your content. Uh, can you try this? It's a fast cycle Mega Knight deck. Mega Knight, Wall Breakers, Miner, um, Bats, Bandit, uh, Firecrackers, Arrows. You guys are all running something similar. Um, all right, let's 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 go back to uh, let's go back to some of the free to play decks or some of the free ones that you guys have. So E-Barbs, Magic Archer, Skeletons, Fireball, Hog Rider. I want to find a different win condition. Evo Mortar, says Newbie. Okay, here we go. We're going to do that. You're the first person to suggest something that did not have Hog Rider or Wall Breakers or Balloon. So let's test this out and see how this goes. Let's run it. I knew I... I, I told you guys I wasn't going to be very picky on what I was going to do, but... Yeah. So far, we got to beat that Graveyard deck. We have to find a 9 out of 10. 
We need to find a deck that is unique, that is also better than that Graveyard Freeze deck with Evolve Knight. Because I'm not going to be disingenuous with y'all. That is definitely the best deck of the day so far. We gotta find something more fun. All right, so Evil Mortar, Poison, Ice Spirit, Goblins, Archer Queen, Log. Um, this looks relatively similar to something that I've played before. Um, <laughs> I, I haven't played, Ar I have not touched the Archer Queen in a long time. Her and I, um, I don't know. I, I haven't met her before. I haven't seen her in a long time. All right, so we are going to do Goblins, Log, and then we are looking for Miner, right? Yeah. Where's Waldo? I don't know if you guys have ever played that. Y'all, did y'all ever um, have the the book Where's Waldo growing up? That was literally my childhood. So OP. I have Double Prince, Ebar, Mega Knight, Skeleton King, Arrows, Goblin Gang, and Minion Horde deck. Yeah, that deck is really good. Um. Oh wait, Mega Knight, Skeleton King. <laughs> wait, I kind of want to try that too. I don't know what the heck that is. You're a monster. You're a literal monster. Wait, I have to try that after this game. That is. I thought you were running like the Skeleton King deck with Mortar, but you are not. You are most certainly not. Damn. You're out here, man. Are right, we going go Knight. <sighs> Refreshing tea. What else can I say? Let's go for a Mine on top of the Firecracker. Let's pop off on that thing real quick, real quick. Easy poison value. That is delicious. All right. I don't know if that's smart or not. Probably not. Oh, oh, yes. No, 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 I'm trash. Oh, that's so bad. If I lose this, it's a skill issue. Guys, type skill issue in the chat. That is tragic. Tragic. Um, yeah, yeah. We just got to laugh it off. No big deal. No big deal. All right, we're going to play our best, and we're going to win this game, and we're going to show Eduardo what we can do. We're motivated out here. We're motivated. We're making moves. They're double prints. Wait, didn't you guys say that you like double prints and then look at what we faced? Right, right. Killing. Keeping the Archer Queen alive. I don't know if that's worth. Got a Mega Knight on it, and now I have to go for a Miner on defense, probably. Oh, that's not good on your end at all. Wow. That's going to be a lot of damage, dude. And the Firecracker goes on the other side? Nice! Hell yeah! Get that thing away from me. I don't even have to respond to that. Easy! Light work. Pure, purely calculated out here, guys. Skill issue? Dude, the biggest of skill issues. Oh my gosh. Uh, bro keeps ignoring me. Uh, I'm reading message next to mine. Skip the dono where you said you forgot my deck too. You were reading donos now. It's crazy. I try to do it, man. I, so, I'm just going to be honest with you, man. I am really, 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 really not good at uh, paying attention to everything at once. Even though I have really good multitasking, it is hard to do everything correctly. So hopefully you can understand, sir. I will read it right after this game. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you know, like, I can't read every message. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not skilled enough. Even though I played StarCraft II at a Grandmaster status, uh, I do forget things. Alright, we took the L. This is totally my fault, by the way. GG. I will take a look at your uh, your your thing, uh, Brooke, because you did end up saying eight cards, so thank you for the reminder. Uh, upgrade Ice Spirit? I don't need to upgrade Ice Spirit. It's all good. Um, You guys keep... Why do y'all keep spamming to upgrade Ice Spirit? We're going to run it back with one more game on this. This deck is good. It's obviously a very good deck. Uh, totally my fault. Messing that up. Oh, 84 in the world! Okay, wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 guys, guys, guys. Rank 84 in the world. Y'all ready for this? <sighs> we're ready. We're ready. We're, we're moving. We're making plays for days. Plays for days, my dudes. Now in the back, not a bad decision. I'm going to wait and see if I can get more poison value. All right, that kills the Mother Witch. We're fine. Real Giant comes through. We can go for a Mortar here. Oh, no. Tragic. Go goblins before he logs them. Oh, he's got Barbrill. That's bad for him. Doesn't end up killing. All right. So if we go minor ice spirit, he could activate King Tower the Fisherman, but I don't think he will. Wait, he's not back to Fisherman. Oh, yeah. We got the moves. That ice spirit was delicious. 
Galton King's just very uh, lethargic, sir. He's sitting there, going, like, ah, man. I don't have to do anything for a bit. That Ice Spirit gave me an excuse. All right, so we can go Knight here. Guy's not playing very well. If we Archer Queen, we kill everything. Rather go Goblins in a log because they give us counter push. Wait, I didn't even need to do that. <laughs> that was trash. Gonna Barb Reel, right? Oh, fireballs. All right, let's think about this. How are we gonna win? Well, we want to cycle as many mortars as we possibly can, but if we go mortar, our opponent RGs, and then I don't have damage to kill the RG because I've got miner as next card, so I'd have to go Ice Spirit, and that'd be dumb. So instead of doing a bad card cycle, what are we gonna do? We're gonna go for an Ice Spirit, and then we're gonna go miner. It's way better than uh, dropping a mortar when we shouldn't be dropping it. Does that activate King? I don't know. Fortunately, it does not. Now we have the correct card cycle, so we can go for a Knight here. We're going to Archer Queen in the back and try to cycle a lot of mortars, maybe. I'm just going to Fireball it if it's near the tower, though, right? If only I had Tornado. Oh, I actually just completely goofed. At least I think I did. Uh, uh, not going so hot for us, guys. Why would you fireball on that? There's no way that that breaks through, right? Okay, at least we're going opposite side of him from now on. Okay, all right. We are playing against rank 84 player in the world, and he's kind of slapping me. It's not going so well. Definitely want to go for a mortar here. Goblin's on top because he's just going to go. Okay, cool. We got the RG. That's all that matters. Poison here. Man, am I just so dead? Like, how do I... Like, how am I even supposed to stop that? I don't know. I don't think I can. I don't think this deck is equipped to kill that. Uh, I think the Skeleton King is a huge problem for this deck, so... Maybe in the meta right now, it's not as good. I don't think Minor Poison and Evolved Mover is actually that good right now. Maybe I'm wrong. Probably decent. Definitely not decent in that matchup against that player, though. That matchup is very bad. I think 84 in the world. Yeesh. Obviously pretty good at the game. All right, so I, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Maybe skill issue. Who knows? Um, all right, let's check out another deck. The uh, the deck that I did not do at the very start was Brooks. Lumberloon, Valk, Wiz, Fireball, Guards, Eye Drag, please. All right. I said I wasn't going to do Lumberloon, but we're making an exception here. Because it was the very first thing, and I did not, uh, I don't think I did it. So we got Valk in there. We got Fireball and Zap. And we're looking at Guards and Wizard. Oh, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. If Harry Potter actually gives us a win, I'm just going to laugh. No way, man. It'll be fun. All right. So we want to have Wizard. We got Lumberloon, Valkyrie, Fireball Zap, Guards, and then there's Eye Drag. Yeah, you were right. There were eight cards. I don't know. Dude, what's wrong with me? I, I think I saw Lumberloon as one card, and uh, I saw as seven cards. My bad. <laughs> I got you, Brooke. I got you. Brooke, I was broken for a second, but we fixed it. Let's go, dude. All right, so... I am going to cycle Lumberjack in the back right. I don't think this is a great play, but it's the play that I'm going to do because I didn't want to cycle something into the night. Everything else arrives at our opponent's tower way too quick. I'm going to arrows. That's fine. We could wizard. It's going to pull the knight, and it will also do some damage here, and then we can go in for a Valkyrie afterward. I think we barely get enough elixir to protect our wizard. Pro plays. I have no elixir. <laughs> uh, I mean, we could zap on the Sparky. I don't want to, though. Wouldn't give me much, because the Valkyrie's going to die anyway. If we Inferno Dragon, we can finesse the Sparky really quick. 
before he gets a Goblin Giant down. Oh, he got a Goblin Giant down. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Inferno Dragon Fireball. The, the Fire Element is strong with this one. You love to see it. Let's go. <laughs> it would be great if you raided my Evo Barbs, Mega Knight, Witch, Golden Knight, Skarmy, Magic Archer, Knight, Arrows deck. Yeah, so I don't like Golden Knight at all. I think Golden Knight is the worst champion in the game. If there was one card I would never play, it'd probably be Golden Knight. It's fun to create videos on because it's just so trash. But at the same time, it just does not work. <laughs> Golden Boy, um, he just doesn't dash on things unless you use Tornado. And even then, it's just uh, it's pretty unreliable in my experience. But yeah, your deck, the main issue that I see here is you are relying so heavily on all these ground cards and their high cost. And the wizard is very inefficient. So, like, the Valkyrie and wizard, I don't love the card combo. Um, I would much rather run, like, Lumberjack Balloon Freeze, something along those lines where you can guaranteed get value. The Fireball with Lumberjack it doesn't necessarily work near as well. Because when the Lumberjack locks onto the tower, you really want to take advantage of that. Like, right now, it's going to be hard for me to stop. I got to go guards, and then, even then, like, I have to eat a Sparky Shot, and then the Goblin Giant on the other side is a huge pain. I just don't have enough uh, defensive utility here to stop this really that effectively. I still might win, but it would be a skill thing more so than anything else if I won, I think. If he goes Sparky, he's going to get zapped, so. Yeah, look at the Evo Knight versus the Valkyrie and the Wizard, right? Like, that's a crazy interaction. It's actually insane. You have to damage that down, and I don't know what's going to happen. I played that about as well as I possibly could have, and I still might not stop it. Reason why I played that well is because I knew he was going to arrow his prediction, and then I dropped my Valkyrie on defense, and the guards on top of that. So. We did well. I mean, <laughs> uh, I, I would, I, again, um, Brooke, thank you for the deck. Thank you for the persistence, and I'm very sorry that I did not see this earlier. My main problem with your deck, straight up, is the fact that you got Wizard, and the fact that you end up having... I love the core components of this. The Inferno Dragon, oh. The, the core components of Lumberjack Balloon Freeze is way, 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 way better. So this core component is awesome. In fact, I even, I kind of do like the zap with it too because it's allowing you to reset Sparkies, maybe outmaneuver opponents. Since you do have the Rage from the Lumberjack, you might not need the zap and the Rage. Um, and because you've got Wizard, you have Splash Damage, so you don't necessarily need Arrows. But something that would be better is something along the lines like this, you know. Going in here... And then putting it in a freeze. And then we go here, we put in a barbarrel. And then we go like either baby dragon or electro dragon. I personally prefer electro dragon just because it's like a little bit safer. And then we replace the Valkyrie with Polar. You could run Valkyrie in here as well, actually. You could just not run. You could you could keep your Valkyrie. You could keep your Valkyrie. I'm fine with you keeping your Valkyrie and not putting in a bowler if you wanted to. This also works. It's swapping out a few cards, and it's making it more efficient. This is really cool. Or, or you, if you want to be a baller, you could also do something spicy like this. And then we could go here for a faster cycle. I think this slaps as well, because you have a faster cycle. And then you could do this, because you have an evolution. I don't know, man. I vibe with that. Or you could run Evo Knight. I like this a lot. I really, really like this deck. So because, because I made you wait, I will play a, the version of the deck that I would run. I'll show you, dude. I'll show you. You know the YouTuber Ofro? He tried 1v1 for the Diamond Pass. I lost against him. Same RG deck. It's so strong and annoying, says Teptoon. Yeah, yeah. That RG deck is always going to be good. So the only reason I'm doing this and I'm showing him the deck is because I literally walked over his suggestion multiple times when I told him I was going to say it. Or when I told him I was going to do it. So I, uh, I'm obligated to do this. It is my fault, so hopefully this will help you out, Brooke. Highly, 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 highly encourage you to switch to this because you like Wizard. You would probably like the Executioner. It's just a better card. It's like upgrading, you know? Like, you, you have training wheels with the Wizard, and then you realize, man, training wheels don't move that fast. Let's, let's get better. Look at that. That just got damage on his tower. That Executioner literally just did damage to the tower. It's still alive. The freaking Wizard would get knocked back and die. Executioner is built different. Strong, sturdy, great card. Knight's a little bit better than Valkyrie here, because guess what? It's going to have an evolution. And then you can use the evolution with your balloon. It's going to tank for the balloon, so you get more value. 
That slaps, man. I'm telling you right now. I made it on the spot. It's not really that innovative because it's just using the core components of the deck. But I changed it so it's a lot better. Hopefully this helps you out. Um, if you were to run this deck, I don't know, man. Maybe an 8.5 out of 10. Maybe, maybe I'm just very biased because that would be my own deck. But... <laughs> Yo, guys, just just spam bias in the chat. That, that was definitely the most biased thing I've seen all day. The graveyard deck is definitely better than this, but um, it's fine. Wait, watch this. Ready. He's not ready for the sauce. Oh, dude, you, you just weren't ready. You're getting sliced and diced, my dude. Oh, it's going to get even worse. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Light work, light work, light work. The goblin. It's going to the king tower. Oh, my gosh. What if all the other goblins died of the bar, bro? <laughs> We're killing it. <laughs> fun stuff, man. I love, love screwing around on ladder early season with you guys. It is so much more fun. I've been stuck around uh, 1,700 medals. Uh, and then I got ultimate champion with the original deck. So it seems like to me, you're extremely good at the game to be able to get to 1,700 medals with a deck that is inefficient. Because I was going to think that you were like not even close to ultimate champion with that deck. But the fact that you were able to do that with a deck that is very suboptimal, I'm not going to BS you. The deck is not good. Um, means that if you switch to this deck, you will have much better success. And hopefully that can help you, you know? Slowly but surely, we're helping people get, you know, higher ranks in Clash Royale, because you deserve to be higher if you are able to get to a good rank with the deck that you showed me. And a lot of times, you, you know, you play the game casually, you just play the decks that you enjoy. So if you don't want to switch decks, don't switch decks. If you want to push up higher ranks, you can't run that deck, though. I'm just going to be real with you. What's up, homie? Uh, can you rate the deck I said uh, in a dono? Yeah, yeah, I can take a look at it. I mean, I'm going to read every donation before we leave. Any donation that I missed, I will read. Uh, but I'm, right now, I'm trying to run decks uh, and just show you guys what's up. I like this deck a lot, though. I'm proud of us. We did something good. We did a good thing out here. Dark Goblin, Minor, Wallbreakers, Bats, Ice Spirit, Ice Golem. Yeah. Evo Skeletons, Goblin Drill, Magic Archer, Cannon, Giant Skeleton, Ice Spirit, North Tornado Log. I mean, that's something that I've seen a lot, man. I don't want to play... Uh, I don't want to play more Giant Skeleton decks. I'm, I have, like... This horrible memory of Giant Skeleton for two metas. It's a great card, but yeah, I've played so many Goblin Drill. Uh, Goblin Drill sucks right now. It's one of the worst win conditions in the game, so I would tell you guys not to play it. Unless you want to lose a lot of games, Goblin Drill is like the worst win condition. It's super, super bad. Um, even like top ladder players that used to run Goblin Drill have all switched. It just doesn't do that much damage because Goblin's got a nerf, which impacted Goblin Drill and also Goblin Barrel. So Goblin Drill really sucks now. All right, let's take a look. Some other things I didn't look at. Uh, Aztec Light says, hey man, love the videos. Uh, I saw that already. All right, Lord Grimm, saw you. Lebo says, can you try my deck, Mega Knight? Um, I've played a lot of Mega Knight decks today. Uh, Dark Goblin, Skeleton Barrel. I would rate that a seven out of 10. Mega Knight just kind of sucks right now, so I wouldn't really play it as much. Tim City, make it work. Oh, okay, let's do that. Um, Elijah, Elijah gave us a challenge, so... Actually, nah, I'm not going to do that. I've already done it before. Um, Sir Tag 8 building deck. So if you guys want to check it out, if you want to see the 8 building deck, the 8 building video that I created, I'm going to have that in the pinned comment of this video. And I'm also spamming it in the chat. So Elijah, if you haven't seen this video, I won with 8 buildings and cannon cart. So check that out. That video is in the chat right now. It's got some spicy memes that I, I got in trouble for. <laughs> Well, no, I got one meme that I actually got hated on an enormous amount. Um, people were like, I'm going to cancel you. I'm like, oh, shit. Like, I didn't know that you guys did that. I, I had no idea. So that was unfortunate. That was, uh, that was one of those things that, um, that happened. <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, so that is one of the... I, I, didn't, I didn't edit it out, so you guys can see. You guys can see the hatred in the comment section. It was not even that bad of a meme. There was one meme. There was one meme. It was a spicy one. Um... So Danny Russo donated, oh man, you donated $25. And also, you know, Danny, again, guys, um, Danny is going through some stuff right now with his the family and um, some medical stuff. So yeah, man, I, I just want to say thanks again for taking the time to be on the stream, man. Like seriously, I love you, buddy. I hope you're doing well. Hopefully everyone is doing okay right now and uh, sending you a bunch of love. So yeah, we're going we're gonna to go and run his deck 100%. Um, Firecracker, Mighty Miner. I already like the card. Uh, of Firecrack Revolution with Mighty Miner. Um, but again, that both those cards got nerfed, so hard to um it's hard to run them super competitively right now. I was only gonna do this stream for an hour and it's it's gonna be two hours guaranteed. 
I'm going to do this stream for two hours today, guys. It's, it's been a good time. It's been one of the better streams that we've had in a while. Can't complain at all. Tornado. Uh, why am I, like, looking at that? Oh, we already have Tornado in the deck, right? And then we want to end up having uh, Ice Spirit, Skeletons, Dark Goblin. Okay, that's easy. Ice Spirit, Skeleton, Dark Goblin. Where you? Look at us. We're moving with a purpose. We're out here. Wallbreakers and Miner. We're going so fast right now. You guys can't even see me. We're speedy. Sometimes you have to like trust yourself and trust your brain and just move faster and see if your brain can catch up. That's one of those things that I've been trying to force myself to do. Um, I'm like very apprehensive about doing things sometimes. And even though like I can 100% handle it, I don't put myself in a position where I do. Wait, dude, you don't have a... Yo, yo Danny, we don't have any spells here besides NATO. I don't, I don't vibe with that that much. I, I would love to have a spell in there. Also, I should have cycled the Firecracker before I dropped the Skeletons and the Mighty Mire, because then it would have given us um, a card cycle that we could have gone back to it quicker with. Well, Ice Spirit on top of the Archer Queen, he's probably... Okay, he's going to click the ability or he's not. He does click it. Let's try this. Get the Miner tank for the Mighty Miner and click the ability, possibly. If that locks Tower, that would be freaking hilarious. Uh, I, was trying to, I was trying to finesse it. It did lock tower for 50 damage. <laughs> Danny, I got damage! <laughs> um, I think that you need to end up having like a skeleton barrel in here, or you need to end up having... Yeah, you, you got to have another win condition. You got to have two win conditions if you're not going to have a big spell. You have to have two win conditions if you're gonna have a big, not going to have a big spell. Wallbreakers are not enough, in my opinion, but it's a fun deck. I would remove the Dark Goblin and put in like a Skeleton Barrel, 100%. Because you already have the damage per second with the Mighty Miner. Alright, alright. Does he click his ability? No, he's not going to. Okay, alright. Ah, how much damage is that? Not enough, right? So... <laughs> that was not it, Chief. Alright, well, Ice Spirit with the Dark Goblin. He's gonna go Cannon. The Cannon's gonna die. It's not even positioned in an amazing spot. But that's decent. No Cannon and Cycle, so we can do one of these. Wait, he messed up. He should have had the Mighty Miner um, getting pushed, I think. Because then he had to go for extra elixir. Alright, we want to keep the elixir very low so then we can make more plays. We're doing it for Danny. Danny, I think we I think we're doing okay, dude. What is this guy's win condition? Anyone know? Is it Electro Giant? It has to be E Giant. Um, looking rough. Looking rough. Because we don't have a building. He's got Electro Giant. That might not be a good matchup. Potentially. Maybe. Who knows? Just, just think it out. He just e giants his triple elixir. I'm dead, so I have a problem, you know. Potential problem, just small petite problem, and petite uh, problem. All right, we're just very dead right now. Last. Ah, 
don't just spam everything? Nah, dude's got like 10 different sources of splash damage with a deck that hard counters us. Not necessarily very ideal. It happens. GG. But Danny, um, I would probably recommend removing the Dark Goblin and putting in like a Skeleton Barrel. And then the deck would work a lot better. Like a lot better. Infinitely better, actually. Um, or, 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 or you could run... Recruits evolution inside the firecracker because the firecracker evolution it's like it's fun It's just like not that good unless you're running hog rider in my opinion I think the firecracker evolution only works with hog rider right now or like clone decks that just can't use anything else Evo skeletons lava hound graveyard skeleton king baby dragon lumberjack tombstone snowball I like that one way more Danny having the skeletons there with the uh, graveyard and the lava hound that actually feels really unique I will play that one game Usually, I do not play two different decks, but this one, it no one has suggested Skeletons ones as often. Everyone's been like Firecracker, or no one's been really doing Knight either. If you guys really want to win, if you guys want to pick the best deck, y'all should all be picking Knight. Every single one of you. It's still the best evolution. It's still really disgustingly strong. Um, It's very unfair, because you can just stack up stuff behind it, and then it just gives value. It's the only card right now that I look at, and I'm like... You know, Supercell, you didn't even nerf it near as much as you should have. But that also uh, is a bias because I like running recruits, and recruits don't do well when there's splash damage behind an Evolve Knight or a graveyard or anything like that. It's just like kind of a it's kind of kind of a sad time when that happens, but it is what it is. All right, so the last card is Tombstone. Where is it at though? I wish they grouped up all the buildings together. Oh, it was hiding from me. Hiding from me for sure. All right, so there's no miner. Uh, Lumberjack. Lumberjack's not good in this deck though. Lumberjack's really bad in this deck because you're not, you're not trying to rage up the graveyard. You want, you want your deck to be extremely optimal from a standpoint of you want all the cards to have synergy together and there is no synergy with that. There's zero synergy with the Lumberjack. Like, the Lumberjack's not going to rage it up. I would put it in a... Definitely put it in a Night Witch over the Lumberjack. That would be so much better. So much better to have that... Uh, or a Flying Machine, even. You'd want, like, Poison or Fireball Bait. Tombstone. What do I replace the Miner with? All right, let's check how many cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there's just a Skeleton King, but I don't know where he is. Plus four Elixir, right? There he is. All right, we're good. Nice. Tips for free to play. Play one deck all the time. All the time. One deck all the time, you end up upgrading it. You get a lot more value that way. What are your thoughts on Ram Rider, Musketeer, Minion, Zap, Furnace, Golden Knight? Really not good. Not good at all. It needs a change for sure. Uh, Revelation, uh, thank you for the $5. I will be straight up with you. Ram Rider is not a good win condition right now. It works specifically in decks that have Evo Knight or Monk sometimes. Um, Ram Rider is very fun to play. Very, very fun card. But the rest of the support of the deck need to be really broken cards. Right now, I'm seeing like cards like Ram Rider and Golden Knight in the same deck. And having that level of support, having those cards not be very good, means that you are not going to get good trades. You are not going to have a good time. Also, did you guys notice how the Skeleton King was able to slap across and hit the Goblin Barrel? Pretty fun. Wait and see if we can do anything else. Maybe go for a Snowball. Oh, that was juicy. I don't think this is a good Skeleton ability. This would it. That was actually very bad. I don't even get a hit, do I? Worthless. Well, I wasted two Elixir successfully. <laughs> Um, but yeah, type in Sir Tag Ram Rider. There should be some decks that come up. And I think I am making a Ram Rider video soon, if I haven't already. But yeah. No, 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 no. There was a good Ram Rider video. Uh, Sir Tag, so the last video that I did, top five best decks in Clash Royale, the Ram Rider deck actually did finish number six in the world last season. There is one good Ram Rider deck, and that would be the one I would recommend. So type in Sir Tag, top five decks in Clash Royale on YouTube, and there's always going to be a series of the top five best decks in the game. Um, every single meta. So if you guys are wondering, like, you know, there's obviously balance changes and stuff. You can keep up to date with that series and it will show you what the best decks are in the game that pro players use. That's not even my opinion on the five, top, top five best decks. It shows the top five best decks that legitimately empirically finished at the top of the world. 
there's no discussion to be made about it. It's just those are the best decks. Um, so yeah. Or maybe you could argue that the players that have played it are just better than the other people. Um, and you could say, like, it's not just based off decks, but those decks finish at number one in the world, number five in the world, or whatever, then obviously those are decks that are worth playing because if they're played at the highest level at that rank, then they can be played anywhere. At least that is my philosophy. All right, let's see how this goes. Yeah, he's got arrows, it's kind of annoying, but it's fine. We Skeleton King here, he should be able to get all the souls. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Danny, this deck is infinitely better than the other one. I just don't like the Lumberjack. Maybe it works though. Maybe the Lumberjack rages up the Skeleton King and then the uh, rages up the Evo Skeletons. Danny, what is this devious deck you created? You devil. I love it. I actually love it. Danny. Danny. I, I think. I'm not going to lie. We replace like Lumberjack for like Mother. Uh, for, for Night Witch. Maybe it's an 8.1 out of 10. Maybe, maybe it's slightly better. You know, maybe. Maybe it's maybe it's climbing up. I kind of fell in love with it, bro. I love it. It's really funny. But the one thing that's an issue is the skeletons. Like you can't get that much split lane pressure with them. I guess you can go in for a skeletons plus skeleton king, and you have a lava hound on one side. You go skeleton king other side, and then you have the evolved skeletons behind the skeleton king. That could work. And then, oh wait, I just thought of something. All right, you go lava hound in the back. You build up your graveyard push in the right hand side. This is like double or triple elixir. Then, you Skeleton King other side. You think about it, right? Love Hound Graveyard Push, kind of annoying. But really annoying to have the Evolved Skeleton split up on both sides. Because there's two of them on the right-hand side behind the Love Hound in the graveyard. Then there's two of them behind the uh, Skeleton King. They kill the two behind the Skeleton King. What happens then? You click the Skeleton King ability, then you unleash another graveyard. So if they don't have, like, infinite amount of spells, it could be a really hard thing for people to counter if they're running control decks. Because... Control decks only have a certain amount of spells, right? Beatdown decks, I don't know how you would defend against everything at once. That'd still be a mystery to me. So maybe not an 8.1, but it would be really good against control decks, like specifically minor control decks or hog rider control decks. A lot of them would just get ruined by this. It would be pretty funny. All right, so let's take, the, take a look at the other ones. Firecracker Fisherman, Giant Skeleton, Zappies, Mother Witch, Arrows, Goblin Gang, Rail Hogs. Tell me what I can change also. Uh, yeah, we've seen that deck a lot. It's really, really commonplace. Uh, remove Firecracker and probably put in Evo Barbs or Evo Knight. And then that would be your deck. Um, deck works really well. It's been one of the better decks in the game. Uh, I can't really say anything other than that. Oh my gosh. Woo. <laughs> All right. Wait, 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 wait. Silas. Silas, what is this monstrosity, bro? What are you doing? You, you absolute animal. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's played this deck for five years. Silas has said, Skeleton Army, Sparky, Bats, Fireball, Tornado. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Skeleton Army, uh, Evo Bats, Fireball, Tornado. Sheesh, dude. What are we doing? What are we doing right now? This community, guys. You guys, you guys cook. Y'all, y'all would make Gordon Ramsay proud. For real. All right, we need Tornado. The next three decks that I'm going to get are all not going to be paid. They will all be from the, uh, the comments. And then I'm going to end on that, I think, after one more paid one at the end. Well, I'll mix a paid one in between the three. But the, we're going to do four more, four more decks. And three out of the four are going to be from your guys' comments. So keep spamming the comments or keep spamming the live chat. That will be uh, that will be it. Lumberjack and Ewis. All right, and we're missing one more card. Tornado, Fireball, Bat, Skull, and Sparky, Galt Army. Dude, what is this? Oh my gosh. Well, it's n probably not going to be rated that high, but. I'm ready to see. I'm ready to see. I'm not a huge fan of Skeleton Army in uh, most decks. Lots of people are running spells right now, and Skeleton Army just gets destroyed. Hmm. 
All right, all right. You guys like this, though, right? If you guys vibe with the, this type of live stream and this type of video, make sure to drop a like on it. Because if you like the video, I'll be doing this a ton in the future. If you didn't get your deck picked today, there's a chance I'll be able to do it in the future. As soon as it gets good enough views, good enough like count, and it gets pushed out to more people, these type of streams will happen more often, and you guys will get to experience, oh, maybe, uh, maybe he'll get to play my deck, or maybe you'll see more crazy creations. That would vibe. Yeah, if you guys enjoy it, like it for sure. If you don't, then you don't have to, but, you know, I'm going to give you guys that opportunity. Tornado is going to be so easy here. Sir. Actually, it was not as easy as I thought. It almost died. Yo, Kodak White. Thanks for becoming uh, a member. Oh, yeah. Um, Flixter says, thoughts on Hunter, Royal Hogs, uh, Bomber, Evo Skeletons, Earthquake, Rail Delivery. Um, I don't like Bomber. Bomber is a bad card right now. It's actually super bad. Maybe you can give some tips on how to play it. Uh, having Bomber and Hunter, I mean, it, it works, right? Like having that type of deck works if you really want to force it. But having Royal Delivery as your sole anti-air defense with Hunter, it's not necessarily that reliable. Assume your opponent goes Balloon. You don't have Hunter in cycle, you automatically lose, right? Royal Delivery is not going to cut it. But I'm the queen, says uh, Everlasting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, queen. I love that voice line. I, I also like your nails. The nails emoji, man. That's OP. I've been using the nails emoji before er, for uh, for my friends and stuff. It's been funny. It's OP. Uh, Pekka Loon, Evo Barbs, Mother Witch, Zappies, Rage Arrows, Hero. Killer. <laughs> You know, you guys you guys have this deep affection for Balloon that I never thought was possible. Guys, I don't even play against Balloon that much. Like, seriously, do you guys play against Balloon as often as we're seeing it right now? Is the sample size actually accurate? Because I would say without fail, 50% of the comments are all people loving the Balloon. Or is it just YouTube? Is it YouTube that likes Balloon? You guys let me know. I I'm interested right now. I need to know. What is creating this Balloon... I don't know, this balloon empire that we have here. Y'all just love the balloon sauce. That was actually perfect. The lumberjack went exactly where we wanted. All right, we have to all in. I don't know if it's gonna work. Let me try though. <laughs> I don't know if this guy's ready to get derped on. I don't know, I guess we'll find out. La -di da Let's go, dude. Uh, I'm going to go Golem, and then he's going to go for Whale Hogs, and we're going to be uh, having a good time. Light work. Light work. Get predicted, my dude. Get predicted out here. How does that make you feel? <laughs> uh. All right, all right. I mean, this might do something. No! Oh, wait, yes? Yes? Yes, maybe. I don't know. I actually have no idea what's happening in this game anymore. I feel like I've surrendered my sanity, and I'm just spamming at this point. Surrender your sanity and collect the crowns! They're all mine! Okay, I didn't hit the electric spear, but it doesn't matter. Dude, your deck is broken in the late stage of the game. <laughs> Yo, you just beat a um a 9,000 trophy warrior. Yep, 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 yep. All you. And the guy's at 5,000 in the world. You beat him. Your deck. All you, man. All you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Deck is a solid 7 out of 10 in the early game. In the late game, when you've got Golem, Raged Up Evo Bats, with the Sparky and a Fireball, it's like a 9. It went, like, that's just so stupid. The fact that you can go and bait out your opponent's like Zap or Arrows with a Skeleton Army, and then you just like spam Evo Bats and they don't die. That's so funny. That's actually comical. The guy had Electro Spirit and Arrows, and he still wasn't able to kill the Bats. That was way too funny. That was way too funny. So your deck... It slaps in the late game. Early game, kind of kind of garbage. But if we get to late game, then it's all good. That was funny. Thank you for the deck. That actually made me laugh. 
All right, let's see some other decks. So, all right, all right. Wow, we have been doing this for a minute, man. This has been one of the best streams ever. Can't even fib. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Double Prince, E-Barbs, Mega Knight. Yep, all right. Uh, so God, that is his name. Double Prince. Let's run it, let's run it, let's run it. We got the Double Prince deck here. Yeah. Let's see how it works. See if we can cook or if we're going to get cooked. It's interesting, though, to play Double Prince because I don't play it that much. I look at it and I'm like, uh, unique, I guess. Pretty good. Double Prince, E-Barbs. I don't like the fact you've got E-Barbs and Double Prince on the same deck. It's very redundant. The Prince does a lot of damage. You don't need E-Barbs in there as well. I don't like that. I'd swap that out immediately. I would uh, look at that and I'd be like, ah, uh, not it, Chief. Because the E-Barbs, they're going to get distracted by the same stuff that the Prince does. Basically, Tombstones all day. So you're not going to really get anything else. And it's going to slow down your card cycle. And you have Mega Knight. So that's already a little bit of a deduc deduction. I'm sorry, man. But we, we're going to try it out. Let's try it out. We'll run it. We'll run it. We'll see how it goes. Let's see if you have any other arrows, bait. You've got Goblin Gang. Okay, okay. You do have Goblin Gang. You better have Minion Horde in this deck. Or Minions regular, too. Skeleton King. All right, we got Skeleton King up in here. You have way too many ground cards, though, dude. So this is the issue that I see with your deck already, all right? Um, a lot of people do this. Why do I have five ground cards in a row? It's going to be a problem, right? If our opponent goes balloon and I have five ground cards in my hand, what do I do? Do I just all in and hope that I can take a tower with a prince and a dark prince, and then they go ice golem kite and I lose? It's a really, really, really big problem. Also, having minion horde and not having other substantial anti-air, uh, having arrow bait with it. Like, you can run minion horde, but you need to have, like, other cards, whether it's a firecracker or a dark goblin or a goblin gang, plus also having minions. You don't have enough, man. You do not have enough. So we can pray that our opponent is going to have a hog rider deck and then I can maybe beat him. That was actually the worst play he could have done in Clash Royale. So maybe he loses. All right, we're in Mega Knight here and we're going to go Dark Prince and we're just going to spam everything we have and hope it works. But yeah, he, he should be able to defend this if he plays this well. That's one of the bad things about this game is, um, like, even though he rocketed, right? Cycle cards are so effective. He didn't play that well at all. Every single interaction that he did there was bad. But he still got away with, like, only taking a 500 damage deficit. That's the reason why, like, having double princes or e barbs they're not that good when you're playing against people a little bit better. Um, yeah, the, like, in reality, he should have lost the game there. In my opinion, based off of like the stats of cards. But Mega Knight's stats really suck compared to um, what you think they might. Like, you can E-Barbs against a Hog Rider like that and get a complete counter. It's cool, but yeah. Basically, this guy has to massively mess up or play suboptimally for us to win, which is not uh, actually ideal. The E-Barb won't do much. It'll do one hit. Oh, okay, cool. You know what? Maybe he's going to rocket again. Maybe he rockets on a Skeleton King or a Mega Knight or something crazy like that. Like, I'm sure if he wants to do that, that's going to be a bad decision. Well, Minion Horde if he goes Expo other side. Oh, sorry. I forgot that he doesn't have Expo. It looks like an Expo deck again. I forgot. Oh, like Firecracker and um, other stuff. <laughs> I've been playing Clash Royale for two hours. Uh, all right. Let's go Goblin Gang. No, it's Arrows. And then split up a Goblin Gang. So he doesn't get log value on both sides. Your goblin will lock on the tower on both sides. It's really annoying. So because you don't have log bait in your deck, I had to create my own log bait by splitting it up. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, so there has to be like more synergy in your deck, like removing the e-barbs, removing the princes. I don't really love the princes. I don't love both the princes in the same deck. I would definitely remove the dark prince and put in like a, a, a minions, maybe. Because you already have the mega knight and you've got the skeleton king for splash damage. Nice. Man, this has been such a fun stream. Like, I have never played decks like this in my life. You know, it's such a vibe. All right, there's we're not great, but it's fine. He logs on a non-existent Goblin Gang. That's good. Doesn't have logging cycles, so we can do this. 
I hope the Spear Goblins can take his tower, but you never know. Oh, oh, Gary the Goblin! Yo, let's go, buddy. Hell yeah. All right, we're going to degenerately spam a minion horde and this in the right-hand side and hope it works. Actually, I lied. I can't kill that, so I guess I lose. Yeah, I guess I just lose. I can't kill that card. <laughs> uh, that's kind of a problem. Slight problem. Yeah, slight problem getting that matchup. I should have minion hoarded and hoped, but... Mm. That matchup was really bad. So your deck needs uh, some substantial changes. Mostly, if you just want to keep it as is, you need to remove like the Dark Prince and put in uh, a Dark Goblin or uh, minions. Probably Dark Goblin, actually. And then that could do something that might be like decent. I would probably do something like this. Um, you don't really have a win condition though, do you? I'd do something like this, maybe. This could work, but yeah, your your deck as is was not a. Uh, it's more of a mid ladder menace compared to a scary deck. This is scarier. This is a lot scary. I vibe with this. Your current one, mm, five out of ten. But if you did this, seven. 7 out of 10. Decent, you know? It works. You could get ultimate champion with this. All right, let's take a... We got, like, two more, maybe? We got two more? Yo, John Lucas, thank you for the dollar, man. Appreciate the dono. Also, uh, Pallet, uh, Q... Woo -woo, thank you. Damn, we got, a, we got a lot of good messages out here. All right, um, don't forget to look at my mortar. Love you so much. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I did. Did I tell you I wasn't going to use it? Uh, evolve bats, goblin barrel, firecracker, knight, log, hunter, fireball, mortar. All right, we'll take a look at that. We'll do that one. Because we didn't really get a good representation of the mortar last time. I will do that, Dark Rye, because you, you've been messaging a lot in both chats. So I will use your deck. Um, all right, knight. We want log, firecracker, our... Uh, Log Hunter Fireball. Where are we at? Where are we at? Log Hunter and then Fireball Mortar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we got it. We got it. But yeah, and then we want the Mortar. It feels so weird to not use the Mortar as the evolution. Uh, so right out of the jump, I would do this. Like 100%. Would 100% do that. But for your uh, the deck, the, the way that you want to play, I'm going to do it. We're going to do it up. It's a fake double push deck. Mighty Miner switch lane to join the golem push and rage. Eagle, Night Witch. Oh my gosh, John. What am I looking at? <laughs> Bats, Evo, Skeletons, Mighty Miner, Poison, Archers, Rage. I don't like the Archers in the deck at all. But I do like the fact that they might bait out Eros. So I could vibe with that. I think that's pretty funny. I'm not going to be able to do your deck today, John. Uh, because I did say I was going to do the free-to-play, uh, or I was going to do the last two is free-to-play. Um, but I do like your deck. I think it could be very, 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 very fun. Actually, screw it. I'll do your deck. I'll do your deck. I'm making an exception just because it's so unique. Just because it's so unique and you have Evolved Skeletons. That's the only reason I'm doing it. So, no more donation messages for the rest of the day. Uh, if, if you guys um, do them, like, I'll read them and I'll rate the deck, but I won't, uh, I won't be playing the donation messages for the rest of the day. I don't, wanna, I don't want you guys to feel scammed, all right? So that's the reason why I'm telling you. Y'all can still donate, and uh, I, I would appreciate it, but yeah, yeah. Just want to be clear. I want you to play Not Fix. Uh, Drill, Minor, Evo, Larry's. Okay, I'll take a look at that one as well. But, you know, uh, when I play it, I, I, I got to give you my opinion. I, I can't, dude, I'm, I'm not one of those people, even with my friends, right? Like, if they ask for advice on stuff or they want me to do something for them, um, you know, I want to I wanna help people out. Obviously, there's some times where people are just like, I just want to have fun and not, like, like take the game super competitively. And then I, then I won't, you know, I won't, like, be like, hey, you have to do this to get better at Clash Royale. Like, I'm not going to do that to my friends. 
Um, but for you guys, like if I'm if I'm doing a video or doing a live stream and there's a deck that I'm reviewing or playing, I I have to kind of tell you guys my feelings on it. You know, it was personal one on one. No, I wouldn't say anything, but in in front of everyone, we got we gotta we gotta give a real representation of every deck we're playing. Otherwise, we're wasting a thousand people's time, which we can't do. You know, we can't sugarcoat it out here. Is what I'm trying to say, bro. We tell you if it's trash or treasure. <laughs> All right, cool. So arrows are out of cycle. Um, I'm gonna go for a mortar. Good lock on the tower. We'll have to wait and see. It's gonna hit the dark goblin. Nice. That's three elixir for four, and then the mortar hits the tower again. Light work. We love to see it. Also, if you guys spam a lot of emojis or make your message bigger, I am gonna be less likely to read it because I know that that's a trick. We don't fall for those trap cards. Yeah. It's like the same principle of like, if people try too hard in anything, then you don't want the, like, like you want, you, 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 you root for the people that don't try as hard. Or not, uh, not like that, but like the people that don't spam as much or whatever. I don't know if you guys are knowing what I'm saying, or I don't think I really communicated that well, but yeah. It's like if you're talking to someone, they send 15 different messages, you're probably not gonna respond, but you know, if they're chill, you might respond. Like a couple messages, just fun time. All right, we're gonna log here. We're probably dead. Yeah, these recruits are a pain. Your goblins lock out of my tower, so I lose. One of them just locks. It's over. GG. Um, I don't love the deck that you have. Again, I don't think bats evolution are good at all, and. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at it really quick. Goblin Barrel is a sucky win condition, too. Um, it's one of the worst win conditions out of all the bait cards. Preferably, Wall Breakers are better. Skeleton Barrel is even better. And Goblin Barrel is like the third distant cousin that no one wants to visit. So, <laughs> I never really run that card. Uh, you do have Fireball Bait, I guess, with Hunter and Firecracker Evolution. But in reality, like, yeah, I, I don't love it. I, I would switch the deck a lot. I mean, Evolved Knight is way better. Evolve Mortar is better. Bats are kind of trash. I get the idea. Maybe your deck will work a lot better when that happens, but I, th I, I don't even like having the Hunter in the deck that much. I'd probably run um, something along the lines of like Miner as well and Skeleton Barrel. And then you have like a faster cycle and maybe remove the Fireball or remove the, the Log and put in a Goblin Gang. And that would make the deck work a lot better. Like way better. All right, so we got two more decks. And then we got John Lucas's thing. Yo, you guys keep donating. I said don't donate. You donate more money. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Benson, uh, Benny, and then John Lucas. You're not, you're not obeying me. How dare you? How dare you? All right. Um, giant, mini P.E.K.K.A. Zap, Minor, Fireball, Goblin Gang, Minion Horde. Okay, let's vibe with that, Golem. My man, Golem. And if there's something unique that I see, then I will play it. All right. I, I need someone to give me an Evolved Knight deck so the last game we can get something good. I want to be able to at least rate something an 8.5. I need an Evolved Knight deck. You guys are not giving me Evolved Knights. What is wrong? <laughs> what did the Knight do to you guys? If we could just like remove the prefix of Mega and put an Evo in front of some of the decks, we would have been able to get so many good ones, I think. <laughs> Pretty funny. Um. All right. Wait. So we got Giant. Wait, where's the deck? All right, I actually lost the deck, dude. <laughs> no, 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 I found it. All right. Does it have bats? No, I can't. If it doesn't have, if it doesn't have an evolution, I'm not going to play it for the last two games. You have to have evolutions, otherwise they don't have the potential of being in a, an 8.5 or anything higher. But I have to find something with the bats or like an Evo. So let's just sort by Evo. I think that's probably it. And I'm not going to do Evo bats. <laughs> Giant graveyard, skeletons, archers, arrows, Evo knight, minions, ice spirit. Okay, we'll try that. Seems interesting. It's just a broken card, you know? Skeletons, ice spirit, um, minions. I think I've lost against this before. 
Like almost certainly I've lost against them. Be kind of fun though. I had I, giant after the buff, guys. It, it, it's good. It's a very good card. It's still not as good as Goblin Giant because Goblin Giant is broken. Like legitimately, they messed up Goblin Giant. So my cards that I would be playing or suggesting from if I were you guys, I'd be running a lot of like skeleton dragons and great in uh, in decks that have fireball bait. And I also would be running a lot of skeletons evolution, and I'd be running a lot of Evo Knight. We also didn't get a single Evo Barbs today, which was interesting. Wacky, you know? All right, so here's the deck. Let's run it. For those uh, that hate having to use Hound with Balloon, I have a very high win rate. Evo Mortar, Hound, Poison, Rascals. Evo Mortar and Hound? What? What are those? All right, so we're gonna do this. We'll go in for minions, and then we'll go skeletons on top of the uh, skeleton barrel. So this guy is running some type of bait deck, obviously. If you guys could not tell, which you definitely can tell, because you guys are smart. Uh, he's got poison, not good. Okay, so this is potentially a problem. I do not think we are gonna be able to defend this very effectively, but we have to try. We're gonna go Archer since they damage it down from a distance, and then we Ice Spirit. Nope, nope, nope. And we made him click an ability way earlier than he should have. That's funny. Perfect. Archer stayed alive. That's, that's good enough for me. I'll take it. So, we wanna cycle the Knight as much as we possibly can, so we'll cycle that in the back. Wait a little bit. Ah, I, I wish the Knight hit that first. All right. Should kill. All right, we're back to the we're we're at the Evo Knight now. So we could do something like that. We could go like Archer's Evo Knight and then Graveyard. Or we could do this. And just see how it goes, you know. See how it goes. Tesla Barbrill, so that's six elixir for my five elixir. Um, if I can just kill this Skeleton King with minions, I think I'm in a good spot. I forget what his other cards are. Oh yeah, Evil Firecracker is a huge pain. I don't know what's up with Evil Firecracker right now, but really, really, really hard to kill when we don't have good answers for it. <laughs> Who would have thought? You need good answers for the Evil Firecracker. Yeah, so not not looking good for us. I do think this is a full counter. He's literally got poison, and then he's gonna have like skeleton barrel, and I can't really kill those. Definitely a problem. And he's got delivery. Yeah, this is like the freaking hundred O matchup. I don't even know how you create a deck like that. I don't know. I don't understand. <laughs> Yo, this guy, he was a headhunter for you, man. He was a headhunter for you. He saw the deck. He saw you type it in the chat. He built a counter. And he's like, Jake's definitely going to pick this deck. Like, what? Who has this? You've got a poison, a skeleton king, and then a, a random skeleton barrel. No way. That's so insane. Yeah, one of the downsides of running Giant Graveyard is sometimes you get matched into stuff like this. Where I've never seen this deck before in my life, but damn, does it destroy me. <laughs> So yeah, I think your deck is, it's got, it's got some explosive potential, but it also has the potential to explode. Definitely exploded there. Um, hey brother, how do you feel about Elite Barbarians, uh, Goblin Barrel, Barb Barrel, Princess, Spear Goblins, Tornado, Electro Spirit, and Dark Prince? So I really dislike Goblin Barrel as a win condition, but it does work with the Skeleton Barrel. You're just not running Skeleton Barrel in the deck. So again, a lot of you guys that are running Goblin Barrel right now, because the Goblins got nerfed, I would really recommend Trying to use Skeleton Barrel and trying to break through with that. A lot of people right now are using Goblin Barrel and it's just not that good of a win condition. Obviously, Goblin Barrel in the OG Log Bait deck is still pretty good. Still really good. But in a lot of other clunkier decks or like spammier decks, I would prefer to see like Skeleton Barrel plus Wall Breakers or Skeleton Barrel by itself in a really fast cycle with other cards like a Prince or a Bandit that could lock another tower. But for you, definitely would not be using E Barbs. I would be using. Um, I would probably be using Double Prince and then Skeleton Barrel instead of the uh, Goblin Barrel. And then seeing how that works. Uh, I don't even know if I would have Barb Barrel either because you already have other aggressive... You already have good defenses with the Tornado and Electro Spirit. 
So maybe you could put in, yeah, you could go like skeleton barrel wall breakers, um, and then so yeah, skeleton barrel wall breakers, and then instead of the uh, e barbs, you could put in a prince. That's probably fine. Yeah, skeleton barrel wall breakers and prince is probably ideal. Prince, that could be fun for you, or like. Just skeleton barrel with the double princes, actually. Just skeleton barrel with double princes. Yeah, I go skeleton barrel with double princes. That's what I would do. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's take a look at some other decks. Come challenge tomorrow. Yes, sir. Man, there's so many different decks. All right. So, Evo Knight Freeze, Mirror, Barb Barrel. Ugh, can't use Mirror. I have a 9 out of 10 for you. Bowler Drill. Drill is not that good in the meta right now. Um, we're taking a look. We're taking a gander. It's insane how good the uh, the graveyard deck was, though, at the start. Where are some other ones? Oh, wait. This one, this one actually is pretty good. I'm I wasn't gonna play it. But I do like the concept of all the other cards together. So, this will be one of the last few ones that we play. One of the last three. Drill, Poison, Royal Ghost, Bandit, Spear Goblin, Inferno Tower, Evo Bats, and Log from Cringe Johnny. I don't dislike this. Reason why I don't dislike this is because the, the synergy is good. You've got Tesla. You're using a lot of the new meta cards. Uh, or no, you got Inferno Tower. Um, but you're still using like a lot of new cards that aren't necessarily um, played in the last meta. Inferno Tower is great when you're underleveled as well. So if you guys are trying to play a deck that, I don't know, is at lower levels of play, um, and you want to level up cards quickly, um, Inferno Tower is one of those cards that can be at a lower level and still give you a lot of value. Just because um, you're able to shred your opponent's like high-level cards. No matter how high-level they are, they still die eventually through the Inferno Tower that ramps up damage over time. Whereas your Tesla might be like tickling your opponent's stuff like your hog rider counter might feel like you're bashing into a giant but it's in reality just not that you know it's funny it's funny how uh, hog riders can feel like giants sometimes all right we want to refer to our bats bandits spear goblins okay and then we want goblin drill and what are the other cards there's one other card royal ghost yeah royal ghost and uh Got it. Drill in. And drill in. There's the deck. Let's go. So, again, the synergy is just like running a lot of spam and using the Inferno Tower on defense and spamming drills. I do like Fireball a little bit more than Poison because you're going to be able to knock away Valkyries or Snowball instead of Log, especially after the Snowball buff. I would I would actually almost 100% remove the... Uh, almost 100% remove the Log for Snowball. Just because you want to be able to push units away from your goblin drill so the goblin drill can get more damage goblin drill does need a buff it's a trash card right now but the synergy the strategy i like it a lot so that's why we're playing it all right we're gonna go bandit in the back Ooh, guards you're spicy out here man you're, you're clean with it okay. do our drill here got the bandit going at him oh the bowler is gonna lock onto the bandit instead right Arrows early. Sheesh, he's not ready. Okay, so the broken thing about this is we can just go for Inferno Tower and kill it, or we can drop bats, which I'm probably going to elect to do. Because the bats can clean it all up for two elixir guys. I love that. I love running fast cycle decks with this type of potential against clunky decks because you can outmaneuver the opponent. They're like, wait, I just dropped a Mega Minion. Now I have to go guards. Now I'm just getting negative elixir trades all day long. And you're like, yeah, dude, how's it feel? And they're going to be like, oh, I hate this game. I'll be like, yeah, it's okay. I love it. So our uh, our love and hate evens out, man. They go spear goblins with a drill, and then his bowler is gonna lock onto the the drill instead of the spear goblins, which is very nice. So we should be able to outcycle the bowler. If you guys are noticing, like even though that interaction wasn't phenomenal for me, it doesn't necessarily matter that much. We're trying to get back to the drill, so then we can go drill plus Evo bats. That's the strategy that we're going for here. Because we want the bats to get tanked for. And then he's not going to have Bowler to kill the... Um, he's not going to have Bowler to kill anything. I hope he drops a unit. Ah, uh, it doesn't happen. Dang! you are clean with it. All right, all right. One bat's going to die. 
The others should survive. Oh, he's gonna arrows on it. Okay. Three poison value, so just snag that, right? One little spear goblin's gonna be a nuisance. He's inferno towering on it. Oh my gosh, he didn't want to cycle his bowler. All right, let's let's do this again. I think this ghost will do a lot of damage. I don't think he's ready. He's gonna bowler left. He's not gonna elixir. Oh, he's gonna evo knight. Right. Arrows too. Jeez, dude, that's awesome. Yeesh. That's it. Poison. Oh, that was really, 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 really desperate. Oh, please? No, I thought I outplayed him so hard. You guys saw that, right? King Tower activation against a graveyard player when you already have poison. Ultimate finesse status. I wasn't clean with it though, guys. I wasn't clean with it, apparently. Right, I might have messed that up a lot. Maybe. Maybe just a little bit. How much damage do I get? Not enough. Poison. Dude, how does that happen? That's so lame. Can the bats just walk under the tower, please? Thank you. Okay, does he lose the game to the Evo bats on the other side or no? No! Such a bad L. My bad. We're going to play one more. I'm sorry about that, guys. I should have just poisoned. I forgot he had freeze, and I messed up. Oh, man. Hmm. That should have been a win. Whenever I lose a game like that, I immediately hop next. I don't know about you guys. Do you ever have that moment where you're like, I'm better than that. That's not going to happen again. And you just, like, you jump into the next one. You're, like, immediately just, like, ah. <laughs> Feel like a rail recruit Spartan. That's exactly what happened. I just, my eyes got wide and, like, uh, not annoyance, but just, like, Utter um, disbelief that I lost. I was like, what? How dare I lose after playing for two and a half hours? Fun though. It does motivate me to play better. All right, so we're going to focus on this game fully. The guy's going to have Royal Hogs. The Fire Spirit's going to go jump on the drill. He's going to have to log this. Oh, he missed. He missed. He's going to go Firecracker. Okay, cool. Sick. We can activate King Tower with a Bandit. Uh, or we can just activate King Tower with an Inferno Tower, right? Oh, the Inferno Tower should have been placed one more tile to the right. I don't know if it activates King anymore. It does. Okay, cool. <laughs> I had no clue. Dash, 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 dash. Come on. Spin for the win, bro. Become a Beyblade. If you guys know Beyblades, those are my childhood as well. Got a hit. That's nice. Difficult for him to defend this. If I remember correctly, most of these decks are going to have like Royal Delivery, which is not good against Ghost. Yo, look at me go. I'm clean with it. Drill is really good when your opponent doesn't have uh, a Knight or a Valkyrie or anything like that. So, Yeah, again, Snowball would have been so nice in the last game. It was a skill issue overall, but it would have been nice. Yup. Knew that was going to happen. Not messing with that today, dude. Get that out of my sight. Okay. So, how do we win this? What is the strategy here? The bats do not give us damage, right? Oh, they almost get us a hit. But your goblins just to be a nuisance. Going to log them. Oh! Ooh! Okay. 
okay all right all right all right we like that damn that's clean we like that a lot Sheesh. all right we drill, go drill here i think those in the back are gonna kill the skeletons hey <laughs> super oh, oh no way no way it, it might finish it off that would be so funny be too good Alright, we're gonna log, we're gonna go for spear goblins. Oh, I thought that was a fire spear. What am I doing? I hate playing as uh, Earthquake when we've got Inferno Tower because, like, one slight slip up, you're so screwed. Dude, the firecracker doesn't know what she's doing! Oh! Let's go! Get at me, bats! See, like, compared to other evolutions, the bats are so underwhelming, right? For two elixir, I didn't take a tower. But if skeletons lock onto the tower, you already know it's GG. Like, for real, they gotta buff bats or nerf skeletons or like nerf all the other evolutions. <laughs> like, I'm fine with bats as they are. I, like, I think bats are pretty broken, but comparatively, right? You know, you feel me? Now we gotta chill because that poison was bad. How about you don't spam all of your elixir at the river? You know, like, how about you calm down and, like, consider your decisions and, like, not do that to me. Mean play. You're mean-spirited, sir. Alright, this should be able to give us damage. Bro, ghost hit it. Nice! Light work! That is the sheer stubbornness that I have. <laughs> Again, better version of the deck. You maybe kind of sort of would like a snowball instead of that. And then the deck would work really well. And then you have to w like wait for Christmas. Have it on your wish list that Goblin Drill gets a buff. And then the deck's really good. But right now, the deck kind of sucks. Because Evo Bats suck. And then Goblin Drill sucks. And then uh, your synergy is awesome. I love the deck. I wouldn't change anything about it. That's kind of the issue. You know? I also don't want to be disingenuous and be like, Yeah, you know, out of all the hundreds of cards in Clash Royale, every card is fair and balanced. Not like that. <laughs> so, synergy of this deck, I wouldn't change anything. Just wait for it to get strong. You know, good deck. I would say right now, with its current, it's really hard for me to rate it because it's like like a 7, you know, like 7.5. Somewhere around there. Maybe maybe 7.2, maybe 7.25. That's how I'd rate it. Um, not great because Goblin Drill really sucks. And then oh, if you play against other evolutions that are stronger, you're going to get steamrolled. But at the same time, pretty fun. Very fun deck. All right, so we got time for a couple more. We're going to do Johnny's deck, and then after that, or John's deck, sorry. Sorry about that, John. John, I, I might might have offended you with your um, elaborate spam. <laughs> I don't I don't want to say say your name wrong. There's one kid that had two names as well when I was growing up. I can't dox him, so, but it, for his first name was John. Also, my tennis friend is named John. John's a good name. Everyone that I've met with the name John has been pretty, pretty chill. Um, all right, so you golem, where you at? Where you at, you little slimy, slimy purple thing? I don't know. Uh, Night Witch. I feel like the elixir golem is just like oozing energy drinks. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm weird for that, but that's what I feel. Jeez. Mighty Miner, Poison, Archer's Rage. I don't, you know, I don't know about the archers. What are they going to do for the archer's evolution? If Clash Royale actually implements that dumb mechanic where the archers blow things back, it is going to be so hard. Y'all, y'all like, we got to be real, right? There's no, there's no universe where they do that, right? There's no way they tested the super cards just for the evolution. Because the super cards, they stopped. They stopped doing super cards after that, right? Are they testing for the evolutions? I think they might be. They might be cooking. All right. And then we want one more card. Night Witch, Bats, Evo Skeletons, got that. And then Mighty Miner, Poison, missing a point. We're missing the true toxicity. All right, all right. Run it. All right, after this, we will do one more deck, and it will be in the chat. The last deck after this. We're doing John's, and then we're running one more. Where are the Evolved Night decks, by the way, guys? Where are they at? Where are the Evolved Night decks? Where are they at? I right, want to go Skelly's in the back. 
Also, Evolved Royal Giant, I'm down to play those as well. We just want to beat that Graveyard Freeze deck. I really want something better than that, hopefully. All right, so this deck is hinging on being able to cycle a lot of skeletons and then getting the uh, the evolution, right? That's the strategy. All right, we're going to do this. Generally not the smartest strat because we want to use the skeletons, right? We're going to let this push cancel out. We're not going to do anything else with it. We're going to let it go. Could poison, could mighty minor. I get. I guess going bats is not bad. Okay, we might have some problems out here. Yeah, it's not looking good. Not looking so hot for us anymore. Going into a Sparky is always uh, a bit tragic. Especially when they have Electro Wizard too. Oh, man. But... <laughs> There's no way he could have another small spell like that. No chance. What does he have? He's got the small spell. It's okay. We're running the elixir golem. We, we got, we got the juice. We got the juice. Skeleton King is infinitely better than the Mighty Miner, by the way, just because the Skeleton King is allowing you to throw more souls back at your opponent. Also, a bit of a better tank than the, uh, yeah, a little bit better of a tank. All right, we'll see how this goes. Time to run it, boys and girls. Oh, the skeletons didn't go in the right spot. They would have still died to Electro Wizard, but... He's gonna arrows. Yeah, yeah, I just... I just leave. No! If only you didn't have an Electro Wizard deck with 17 small spells. <laughs> if only I didn't mess up and get my evolved skeletons in front. It still would have went into the Electro Wizard. It wouldn't have mattered, but... You know, it would have been cool. Man, that was actually probably the worst matchup we could have gotten. <laughs> a fun deck, though. We'll try. We could we could run it one more. We could run it one more. We could do that one more time. Gonna get three crowd. No big deal. No big deal. I'm gonna take two towers to say that I accomplished something. Here. You guys feel me on that? Nope, I didn't get it. Ah, oh, I wanted to be a close two to three victory for our opponent. <laughs> Peace out. That was a terrible matchup. But to be fair, I don't think this deck is great. Um, again, I would run um, I would run the Skeletons Evolution decks that I show on my YouTube channel. There's a whole bunch of them with Giant and Elixir Collectors. You get an Elixir Advantage and then you spam it. It's so fun. Three crowns every time almost. I don't like Elixir Golem that much just because it's more, okay, you get steamrolled or you steamrolled the opponent. It's kind of more so like that. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? What's going on, bro? He's one of the bros. Uh, all right, so Nidish, uh, I don't know how to say your name correctly. Nidish? Nidish? Says RG Bowler, Dark Prince, Baby Dragon, E Wiz, Tornado, Lightning. I really enjoy playing this deck. I actually might vibe with that. That, that seems really fun. That might be the last deck of the day. Just because it is a fun deck. We're gonna go skeletons here. We're kind of trying to trade relatively evenly, but maybe we trade better than evenly out here. Maybe we start winning. Yo, the mighty miners on the tower ranged up. Oh my gosh, dude, what just happened? How did we take tower? I don't know, dude. Raised mighty miner drill. That is huge value. Oh, that was funny. I'm not gonna fit. I did not expect that to work as well. Take it though. We take those. What if we do one of these? What if we do the devious push? Oh, uh, it's not going to work. All right. Mission abort. Mission abort. Just kill the Dark Prince. Try not to lose the game. Let those minions do their thing and then go bats. The one thing that a lot of Elixir Golem players do, they just completely commit to a push when it's not going to work. Don't do that. Just let the push die. Okay. It's okay to be sad. Sometimes. Pull it. Nice. Okay. Do things. <laughs> nope. Nope, not happening. 
is looking really bad. It's looking atrocious, actually. All right, we're going to do this. Am I just dead? I might just be dead. I mean, there's always a chance. <laughs> they, they always say there, there do be chances out here. Nope. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't play this. Um, I can show like the, the version that I like. It's kind of a little bit more aggressive with Evolved Skeletons, and it's just a lot more spam. Uh, it's by far my favorite one. And then after that, we will close out with Needish's deck. Think. I think that's the deck that we're gonna do. I think we're gonna do an RG one. I think we do be running that. Evo Mortar Phoenix Skeleton King Cannon Cart Freeze Ice Lizard. Oh my gosh, King Murda. That is an interesting deck. I like it though. I, I think Freeze is uh is unique. So yeah, this, this the premise that I would want you to run instead of instead of running Elixir Golem, you run Giant. It's a better tank for not giving your opponent Elixir, <laughs> and you can rage up the evolved skeletons. Have the Giant and the Dark Prince tank for the Skeletons when you split them on both sides. And then Rage it up, heal it. Having the minions bait out your opponent's arrows and zap and log. So then the Evolved Skeletons can get value. That's the strategy. That's what we're doing right now. <sighs> alright, alright. Let's go. Let's run it. We go Dark Prince in the back. Thanks for the play anyways. I do play it differently. Yeah, maybe, you, like, maybe your play style works a little bit better with. But yeah, generally the better thing to do is uh, wait until double or do that. Maybe I was forced into cycles where I dropped it earlier. Could have been it. Maybe you don't match into sparky decks with three small spells too. There, there's also that possibility. <laughs> you know? Oh, I actually really messed it up. I almost got the mini packet down in time. I So I wanted to get skeletons and then I realized that I had to go in for the mini packet because I didn't have enough time for the skeletons. No, this matchup's impossible. I lose. Unless... No, it's it's actually... This one's impossible, because you don't... Yeah. Kind of tough. Yeah, I just lose. I have no reset for that. That's over. GG! Alright, we're going to play it one more time. We'll show you guys like what I like about this. I'm just going to toss this game in the trash. It's not worth playing. Um, Sometimes they're, the gimmickier decks, or the gimmicky decks, like this one... It does not work in this matchup. It does not work. You just lose every time to uh, what's your goal? Because you can't kill the battle healer. It's just it's really tough. Unless uh, there are specific situations that you can like finesse them if they spam really hardcore into a dark prince at the very start and they massively mess up. But yeah, here's what it is. We'll run it one more time. We did lose a lot of trophies today, but it doesn't really matter. We just kind of did it for fun today. We messed around. All right, all right. Freeze, Inferno Dragon, Mega Knight, Evolved Knight, Flying Machine, Rascals, and Arrows and Bats. So, you don't really have a win condition there. You don't have, like, a graveyard or anything else. If you're trying to get, like, the Evolved Knight on top of the tower, um, that works. It's cool, but you need to have a win condition, whether it's a Ram Rider or a graveyard or, like, uh, minor wall breakers. You got to have something with it. You know? All right. Let's win this game. Show you guys why I like this deck. And then after that, we will make it happen. Okay, so we're playing against Logbait. It's not a great match, by the way. Um, this one's winnable. Alright, alright. We're not going to take too much damage from the knight. We know he's going to go for a princess. I can't do much about that. Yup, that's the obvious play. That is the right play. That is the only play that you have available. You Ice Spirit, okay, sure. Then you rock it on the Goblin Barrel. Or rock it on the uh, Elixir Collector. Mini Packet doesn't do anything. If it dropped in a different spot, I think the ice wizard or the ice spirit would have been good for him if he had dropped in a different spot. We go for a dark prince. All we can just get away with an elixir collector. Dark prince kills the princess. There's no doubt about it. Mm, I wish the dark prince had a little bit more health, but it's fine. Um, and heal spirit. See if he's gonna drop like a goblin gang or something, or like drop elixir that he shouldn't. Eats it. Okay. Um, we kind of want to get to a point where we can outcycle him, but it's not going to be easy. Gotcha. 
All right, we'll see how this goes. Well, this might do something. Nice. So we knew he had Goblin Gang, so I was just going to rage on it. And he kind of got finessed. He did not play that well. He went Princess of the River. I realized, hey, you don't have that much Elixir. You kind of just spam your Princesses all the time. OP. Now he's going to have Princess and Goblin Burrow again. Yeah. As you guys can see, we don't have a good answer to Goblin Burrow in our deck. So that is one of the few bad parts about our deck. Is if he decides to go for an Evolved Knight, which is kind of impossible to kill, they can do that. Doesn't always work like that, but I guess it is a little bit of a counter. Feels bad, man. Yeah, when you don't have log and your opponent has log bait and they spam stuff at the river, it doesn't work. Man. I think one of the few downsides of Clash, like one of the few things that is a bit annoying, is like when you try to make like more fun decks work, you do sometimes match into people like this that will hard counter you and then they'll, they'll barely win or whatever. And then it's like, ah, that kind of sucks. But if you would it be, we'll jump to the next one and we'll get a better game there. So we're just gonna, we're not gonna show this right now. This deck is good, but unfortunately, two hard counters in a row. Not what we wanted to see. I should have beat that guy too, I think. Um, Good night, buddy. It's midnight here. I love you, dude. Thank you for stopping by. The toxic? Yeah, the guy was very toxic and not that good at the game comparatively. It be what it be. You can, one thing that you can do if you ever are like super salty afterwards after you lose, you can be like, oh, Okay, like, your best rank is, like, very, 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 very far below. So you can do that if you're salty like me. <laughs> so that's just something that you can do. Um, it, there's an 8K, uh, or an 8 Evo Executioner Tornado Log Guards Minions. Yeah, I think I want to do the, uh, I think I want to do the RG1. I think we're going to run the RG1. I also do want to play one more. I want to show the deck. I'm triggered. <laughs> I'm triggered that I wasn't able to show it. I want to show the strategy because I, I um the deck is so good. The deck is so good. I can't hide it. I can't hide it. You guys can see it in my face, right? You're like, this dude, he wants to just show the strategy that he likes. Can we not get Elixir Golem? Can we not get Log Bait? That's it. That's all I want. Simple needs. <laughs> Simple needs. Anything but those two decks. Anything in the entire world. Lava Hound Balloon is winnable. Because you just go other side and you three crown them. So it'd be really cool if we just think of those two matchups. <laughs> you try to RNG your way into like getting good good matchups sometimes for um for this type of stuff, but yeah, it's funny. Who's the best Clash Royale player ever? Oh, obviously Muhammad Light. It's not even a question, bro. Lightest the uh, lightest question you've ever asked. Use rascals? I'm not gonna use rascals right now. Rascals are not bad. Okay, great. We get an amazing matchup. That's that's awesome. So if I lose this hundred percent skill issue. Which hopefully doesn't happen. But it could happen. We balling right now. We're doing well. We're killing the game. What the heck are you doing? This guy is vicious. I've never seen anyone do that before. <laughs> like, yo, giant, stop running away from me. Oh, uh, that's pretty funny. Anyway, he loses the bowler, that's good, and we can go for Elixir Collector in the middle. Yeah, and he's got Hog Rider, so he could drop another Hog Rider right down the middle. I don't know. Oh, he's gonna have Lightning. Okay, cool. We're chilling. We having a good time. Hell yeah. We're gonna get the uh, Evo Skeletons and show you guys what's up. I was watching your stream, and this said, last guy, catch this guy live. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I play this, uh, I play this deck a lot. It's really fun. Super, super fun. All right, so he's gonna have Executioner. Does he drop it in the same side on the left? Because if he does, then we can go minions and finesse it. Otherwise, we can go like heal spirit giant other side. And mini P.E.K.K.A. And then go skeletons here. If we even need to. No, if we do. Yeah, look at that damage. And then it all cancels out. Like the minions are dead. They just died in my tower. He could go for a hog rider, but we would just go minions on it. It's fine. It doesn't cost that much Elixir to kill it. He's not going to go Executioner at the river. No one does that. So Only one hit on my tower. Not bad. Probably goes Xe. And then we go Giant, Dark Prince. He's got Bowler. And neither of those like get finessed by Bowler. He could Log. Heal Spirit jumps. That's awesome.
All things considered, I'm kind of liking our spot. I don't think that these uh, minions are going to do a lot to the bowler, but... Or, like, do more than we, like, need, but still pretty good. And now, because he just uses log, we just spam everything ridiculously at the river, and we win. It's over, because the heal spirit jumps onto that, and then he loses. So, the cool thing about it is, heal spirit plus rage, it kills goblins. It kills minions. You're chilling. That's cool. So, like, even if you're playing against decks where you're like, wow, the defense is impossible to break through. But they got, like, bowler and executioner, it's like, it ain't that bad. Giant after the buff, especially when raged up, does mad work. I want to run one more. <laughs> I've cannibal. I, I I've um. What is it? I've commandeered the ship today. I'm sorry, guys. But yeah, this is a really good deck. I do. I do want to show the skeletons evolution because like that was the entire thing. I wanted to show how they do. Skeletons break through. Any rumors on what the next season evolution is? Uh, you know, I could maybe make up some rumors, and then if they're right, then I get permanently banned from the creator code. Thank <laughs> OP. <laughs> imagine, imagine. I'm just like, yo, the next one, it's uh, the Mighty Miner Evolution. And then you guys clip it, you send it to Supercell, and they're like, oh, I hate Sir Tag. Let's make it the Mighty Miner thing. Sir Tag, like, uh, he did it. He, uh, he leaked it. How dare he? And then I get absolutely finessed. Be so funny. Wait, what is, it? what is the deck? If it's Graveyard, I'm going to be triggered. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. It was Hog Rider, right? It was a Hog Rider. I forget what his win condition was. I don't remember. I just do not remember at all. All I remember is he is logged and tornadoed. Does anyone else know? Oh, it's an Executioner. Okay. I did... Why is everyone and their mother running Executioner today? Okay, so those minions are going to be a huge problem. You're going to probably tornado them. You might be dead. So as you guys can see, if people drop a bomb tower or a building in the most optimal spot and the minions lock on the tower, you're like, oh, that was fun. Thanks, man. Ah, oh, I wasn't able to get it down in time. <laughs> Heal Spirit was just moral support, I guess. Kind of cute. The two elixir collectors. This is what we wanted. This is the strategy. I don't know if it's going to work. We want to drop our skeletons later. We don't want him to know. We don't want him to understand what's going to happen here. We're a giant. Hold the mini packer for whatever win condition. I totally forgot. I've been playing Clash Rough for three, uh, three hours. My brain is deteriorated. Um, we go Dark Prince. Oh, that execution is going to be a huge pain. Actually, what if we do this? And then we go Skeletons later. Slightly later. Yeah, uh, it's probably not worth it. Probably just like rage up the minions. And just do the damage that way. Might as well just take the tower when I can. Wow, amazing. Alright, we're going to use our skeletons in the more intelligent perspective. Dropping it on defense here, and he's not going to be lightning it, so he has to log. Winions! Winions going to win! Winions going to have their din! Alright. We just cycle another giant. <laughs> Light work. If the mini pack is able to break through this, we just cycle another giant. And it does. Easy. This guy must be so upset! Oh my gosh! It's attack on Titan! <laughs> it's so funny that this is like... Literally reenacting Attack on Titan, guys. This is what's happening. This, this is life. No big deal. That gets a hit, he loses, so we can't let that happen at all costs. At all costs. Uh. I don't think I played this very well. The end. All right, we're just gonna keep spamming to the left, I think, because we can't get him to have counter push anymore. It's that's that much is obvious. We always had to go opposite lane the entire time, so it was a bad game plan on my end. Attack on Titan! Attack on Titan! Let's go! We can't stop our Santa Clauses. They're coming down that chimney, bro. AKA the bomb tower. 
All right, cool. We got him. We would have had three giants on the field. As you can see, this deck is really fun. <laughs> it do be a vibe. And uh, yeah. All right, we're going to go and use the last deck. RG, Bowler, Dark Prince, Baby Dragon, e -Wiz, Tornado, Lightning. Do you guys think that that will be able to beat the other one? Personally, I don't know. I also can't be disingenuous. I, I, I'll, you know what? At the end of the day, we're going to give two different ratings. The deck that I enjoyed playing the most. And then the deck that is the best one. And that's what we will do. That is exactly what we will do. And we'll go through and we'll have a little bit of uh, a story time recap of what we liked. And what we, uh, what we learned. All right, so Dark Prince. Also, you can use Valkyrie in this deck instead of Dark Prince, I remember. I do be remembering that. Baby Dragon E-Wiz. Uh, Baby Dragon. And then we got Tornado Lightning. Look at me, guys. I'm going fast. I'm making it happen. I'm going so fast. I know exactly where everything is. I'm a beast. And then we want to end up having RG Bowler. So we want Bowler. Look at me go, guys. My peripheral vision is on point today. And then we want Lightning, the last card. Wait, you're missing a card. RG Bowler, Dark Prince. That's three. Baby Dragon, e -Wiz, Tornado. That's six. Lightning is seven. Isn't it Goblin Cage? No, I can't use your deck. S three. Seven. I got trolled. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let's try to find another one. Where is the last deck? Ooh. Giant, Sparky, Skeleton Army, Mini P.E.K.K.A., Minions, Arrows. Got me to 8,200. I got started at 8,000. Um, recruits, Goblin Gang. Yeah. Wait, that 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 Recruits one is just easy to play, though. I, we've already shown that. Hunter Bomb Tower. E-Barbs. Yeah, it's Goblin Cage, right? It's Goblin Cage here. Let's see if he's typing in the chat. It's Goblin Cage, I'm pretty sure. Um, all right, you know what? We'll try this one. There's another one. There is another one here. There is Royal Giant. Got no, not that one. There was, um, my deck, which you lost. I know. I'm sorry. I lost the tears. All right. Royal Recruits Evolution is the one that we're going to go for. Royal Recruits. Yeah, the flying machine one, I, I play that a lot. We can, I mean, that's such a cop out though, because I would rate that as a nine. Like if I, if I rated this as a nine, it's kind of unfair, right? Like it's number one in the world very often. It's super easy to play. I, I guess I could play that and I could show you that, but that's uh, also not ideal, right? You don't want to show the, um, you don't want to show a deck that you've played a ton. I see that. I would rate that a 9, but that is also one of my main decks, and it's also super biased. All right, let's try this. The Royal Recruits Goblin Gang. Dark Goblin. Skeleton Barrel. There's some other deviations that you made. Fireball Mini Pekka Prince Log. Mini Pekka. Prince. I think I'm going to like this. But the issue that I'm seeing right now is you don't have enough anti-air. So I might remove one of them for... Um... All right, we're looking for Prince, wherever he may be. Wherever that Splendid Sir is. And then we're looking for one last card with the Skeleton Barrel. Skeleton Barrel, Dark Goblin, Goblin Gang, Fireball. Um, yeah, you have Fireball in there. Okay, cool. It'll be fun. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. We'll see how it works. I'm actually kind of excited for this. I think that the Mighty Miner one works, but I never really thought about putting Prince in there. I always said Cannon Cart. So, from that perspective, it might be a W. 
I actually wanted to test out Mini Pekka and Prince. Game is garbage is the guy's clan. Oh no, guys, guys, guys. He's going to be so Omega Tilted if he's running Splash Shard. He's running Splash Shard. He's going to hate this game. He's playing against Dark Goblin right now. He is going to be so tilted. He's going to go Barbro. We're going to go Mini Pekka. We're going to predict it. Remember he drops it? Well, it's not really a prediction. We're just waiting for it. Oh no, he doesn't have the deck we wanted him to. It's okay. Still going to be pretty fun. Go for a Mini Pekka here. And we can go for a Prince with it. And the Mini Pekka is going to force out extra Elixir. Oh, he's going to have Mega Knight. Okay. Not exactly optimal for us, but it's something that we can work with. Oh my gosh. That is a problem. I don't think I could have done any better than that Goblin Gang split, by the way. We fully countered the Mega Knight, but even though I had good mechanics, I can't stop it. No, dude, I played that perfectly, right? That Goblin Gang split was sick, right, guys? Come on, Clash. Don't do that to me. All right, we got to beat him. He's BMing us like crazy. We need this bounce back. It has to happen. Forgot Goblin Cage? Yeah, I assume. All right, guys, channel the energy in the chat. We got this. Oh, he's literally he's literally got a Mega Knight Valkyrie Tesla deck. No way, man. Mid ladder monsters out here. And it didn't hit the Ice Lizard either. That's so unlucky. I think we lose. Come on. Alright, let's think about what we can do. Let's think about what we can do. Hey, okay. gonna Mega Knight on that? Oh my gosh! Guy is not very good. I'm sure you guys already knew that, but pretty, pretty funny. We know he's gonna Valkyrie. All right. I don't think I can win. Uh. We have to stack almost all of our stuff on the other side, I think. And just pray that we can take the tower there. And then fireball on defense. Yeah. Really, 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 really unlucky matchup. I don't know what else to say. Yikes. Uh, that, like, let's be real. That Goblin Gang split, the mechanics on defense, that was pretty impressive, right? Let's take a look at it again so we can actually appreciate it. That's one of those things, like, you can't really look at the outcome of a game a lot of times um, when you play well, right? The Dark Goblin cycling, like, everything was pretty decent. Like, you can't fault me for cycling the Dark Goblin there trying to snipe things. Like when the double, the, the Prince there probably wasn't that bad of a decision because the mini pack was going to die anyway. So, like right here. The split was so sick. The Mega Knight did not jump on any of them. It just like individually targeted them and then still died. Then had to walk towards two towers. That was really impressive. And the Spear Goblin even stayed alive. I don't know. I watch replays all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Replays, replays hit different. All right, so the Royal Giant deck, we still have it. I think we do. The last card was Goblin Cage. We'll try it out. I um, I do like this version. I don't, I don't think I've played it with Bowler and Dark Prince before, though. Most of the time, it's like a champion, like Skeleton King. So, I think Goblin Cage or Goblin Cage is gonna get a buff eventually. They're looking at adding a buff to it, so kind of a cool deck. Let's check it out. Let's go. Can you play the Denisito deck? Uh, the Denisito deck is really bad. It's uh, it doesn't work. Oh, okay. Wait, this guy has got some high rankings. So with this type of deck, since it's going to be like a lot of splash cards, kind of want to wait till later stages of the game to get maximum value. Also, again, if you guys want to join in on the pass row giveaway, we're going to give away three pass rows. Tell me some funny stories in the comment section, whether it's a speeding ticket or uh, just a ticket in general or anything that you guys have done. You let me know anything uh, funny that's happened to you. It doesn't have to be anything that you got in trouble for. It could just be something funny. Let me know and then, uh, yeah, we'll read them and uh, we'll pick out three. 
Let me know. Okay, so we can go for a Dark Prince here since we have a Bowler and a Baby Dragon. What? You madman. You're really going to click a Skeleton King ability into all that splash damage? Oh my gosh. Yeah, so I like this a lot. Why not just Lightning and win? <laughs> okay. So you guys can see the stark contrast between spam, 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 and then defensive deck. Defensive deck kind of wins when people are running decks that don't make as much sets. Because they're so safe, right? It's really hard to break through a defensive deck like ours. I like this a lot. Is that Ram plus Lumberjack deck plus Flipo still good? Yes, it is still very good. Still a great option to play. Uh, the thing is, Evolve Knight's just a really good card, so I would highly recommend it. Yo, hee hee ha. Yeah, dude, hee hee ha for days. All right, so can the Baby Dragon just kill all that? Yeah, I guess so. It was absurd for me to try to keep the Skeleton King alive. Or, not Skeleton King. Um, Goblin Cage Brawler alive. Bad decision. You can't do that. You can't do that. I mean, that's going to get you like a thousand damage. But... Okay, a lot more than a thousand. That was way more than a thousand. We just bowler same side. We... The one thing that a lot of people don't do is you tornado, and then you go in for the Electro Wizard. If you tornado um, later, it's just like really bad. Because the Electro Wizard will die to a Minion Horde, essentially. Oh, that sucked. Alright, so let's just do this. I might have just thrown. I did toss it in the trash, didn't I? No! I literally just trashed my towers. No, the bats don't die to the baby dragon. Unless you're telling me there's still a chance. No! <laughs> oh my gosh, this deck is extremely good. I just botched it. I don't know if you guys saw, but he uh, spammed three musketeers and I hit one of the Musketeers and the Skeleton King, and I should have lightning on the left, but I was leaking Elixir and I didn't know what to do. So I guess that was one of those situations where it's like, he waited a little bit longer and he got a benefit from that. I know, rest in peace, man. We'll play to our opponent. Forgot the Goblin Cage, yeah, yeah. We got the Goblin Cage now. We could Royal Giant at the start, but generally, again, this deck is better the later the game gets. So I'm going to RG now because he went in for a Rage. Probably going to be running like a Sparky deck or something. So might as well get the maximum benefit. So he dropped Rage and he dropped Barbarian. So that's 7 Elixir. I've totally dropped way more than him. So he's going to be up a bit. He should spam me or try to counter the Bowler. We'll see what he decides to do. Can you open your level up chest? There's no point in opening up the level up chest. Why are we always playing against Elixir Collector right now when we don't have our Lightning? Oh, no. All right, so if we can win this, we'll show you guys that the deck is actually really strong. Because most decks are not efficient enough to win against Elixir Collector when you don't have a counter Elixir Collector. Because Elixir Collector comes down and you're like, oh, wait, what am I supposed to do? Did we actually match on the same thing? Nope. I need that Dark Prince, though. It's kind of bad. He's going to eat everything, too. Oh, no way! Okay, yeah, no, no way was too good to be true. <laughs> it was a no way. No! Don't be that guy! Alright, well, I guess we're sacking the tower there, and we're realizing that we can't defend it, and we're going to try to Royal Giant afterward. I think that's what we do. As long as we can keep our units alive, then that would make me happy. Because the counter-pushing units will take his tower for sure. Maybe we could take two towers. We have a baby dragon electro wizard, so there's something. What? David! You see Goliath and you run away. The, that. No. No. Get away from me with that. What? David. 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 What are you doing, my dude? David is... An interesting individual. Alright, David is getting even more interesting by the second. Gonna tornado that and not lose our game. 
I knew he was going to do something like that. I just sensed it, you know? I had this inkling that the homie was going to go and spam Evo Barbs. Fortunately for us, we do have an Electro Wizard and we have all this other stuff. So the splash damage in our deck is really good. The reason why I lost the last game, I guess, is skill issue, probably. Most likely. Almost 100%. I uh, can't even hide it. I think... This deck is not as good as the, the uh, Graveyard Freeze deck because it doesn't have Evo Knight, but... It'd be like an 8.25. It'd be an 8.25 for me, big dog. It's a good deck. It's definitely a good deck. But the winner of the day has to be the Graveyard Freeze deck at the start. There's nothing even comparable to it. Unfortunately, that's just how it is. Sometimes uh, the best deck is at the start. Usually it's at the end. But this one, so broken. If you guys want a good deck at the top of the leaderboard, this thing is played very often. But it's played with Electro Wizard instead of Ice Wizard just to have that reset for the Inferno Dragon. Would highly recommend if you guys wanted a good deck. You just wait around. You cycle Knights as, as often as you can. And then after cycling the Knights, you get the Evolved one. And then you have the Evolved one paired with the Baby Dragon, the Inferno Dragon, and a Bowler. And you clump up all of your opponent's stuff and they can't kill your units because the Evolved Knight's tanking. You freeze, just GG with the, the Graveyard. Just a really unfair card combination. It does lose the poison sometimes. But overall, one of the better decks in the game. And it's played all over top ladder right now. Very strong deck. If you're patient, the deck pays off really well. Some of the other fun decks that we played. Man, I, I truly enjoyed this Mega Knight deck. It was really cool. Having the ability to use the Evolved Skeletons and having like the dual lane pressure with the Lumberjack and then also the Balloon and the Mega Knight and having Freeze. That deck was probably the most fun one for me. Um, also, the spammy Super Cycle that we almost won. That was awesome too. The, the Lava Hound deck didn't work very well. We had some adjustments and some stuff to talk about. Uh, this was an unfortunate one. This was cool. We ended up playing it and beating a matchup that we shouldn't have won with the Graveyard. And then, yeah, we, we got a little bit stubborn. We played some Mortar decks a little bit longer than we should have. And then at the end, we just tried out a whole bunch of different stuff. But yeah, overall, super fun stream. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to drop a thumbs up on the video so we can do this again in the future. Huge shout out to everyone that participated. And let me know some stories down below in the comment section. And there's a chance that you guys end up getting um, getting Diamond Pass for Al sent to you. Huge thank you again. Because uh, without that massive, massive dono, um, we would not have been able to do that. So again, Jordan, Jordan Snur for the three Diamond Pass giveaway. You're the homie. Again, guys. Um, yeah, let me know down below in the comment section if you guys want to see more of this. Or if you have any ideas on how to expand this for the future. If you're like... Hey, I like this idea, but I want to see you do this in the future to make it even better. Let me know because I'll, I'll be reading all the comments. No matter when you're watching, no matter, you're, no matter where you're watching, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And yeah, thanks for being a part of this, guys. Peace out.